And good evening, everyone. Welcome in WAXC TV. I'm Tommy Wood along with Jeff Coburn. It is volunteer football time. We are back at it for another year of the 2014 season. And, Jeff, it seems like only yesterday we were kind of signing off and wrapping things up. Things run by in a hurry, Tommy. We just finished up the season, like you said, it seemed like a few months ago, and now we're back at it. Hot time of the year, but we're ready to get back at it. A very warm night here in Talladega County, Munford, Alabama. And, Jeff, we've seen these two teams battle the last two years, a couple of great contests. And for one, I'm very excited that this series is going to keep going. I am too, Tommy. And I think when they made out the schedule for the coming year or two, that both sides agreed this was a good matchup. They feel like the competition between uh, Montford and with Clay Central makes each team better. Both Coach Wagner and Coach Heron look forward to continuing that rivalry. You know, you look at these, and again, the series, Central has won both of the last two games, but they've been very competitive. And uh, a lot of changes have taken place in the last year. Since the last time we met, uh, the Athletic Association has uh, gone up and had a 7A classification, so new classifications this year. Even though these are two different ones, you've got Munford still a 4A, Central now a 5A, but again, a great rivalry developing between these two schools. Well, the move up didn't surprise a lot of folks. Everybody kind of figured Clay County or Clay Central to move up in the next classification, but it really not affected a lot as far as tonight's game, but on during the season, you're going to see teams like Shelby County and Tallahassee that, you know, Clay Central doesn't have a lot of history with and don't know a whole lot about. So, and good part about it is they don't know much about Clay Central either, so it'll work in both teams' favor, but we're anxious to get it started. Speaking of getting it started, it may seem a week earlier. Actually, it is. 11 weeks to play 10 games. That's the new rule in the Athletic Association. Several teams playing jamborees this week, but not for these two. This is a game that's going to count. It is, and it's going to count pride and everything else. Both teams are going to come out and start their season off on a good note, get things rolling, make things happen tonight, and find out what they've got. We're going to take this time out here on the Hallman Automotive pregame show. When we come back, we'll take a closer look at the Clay Central Vols as we roll toward kickoff of week number one. There's more than one way to get professional lawn care. Do it yourself like this homeowner with whatever this is. Pros use reliable, powerful, Gravely equipment. This homeowner gets by with something else. Gravely delivers the high performance and quality professionals stake their reputation on. Gravely outpowers, outlasts, outperforms. Get what the pros use. Get Gravely lawn equipment and more at Abernathy Farm Supply in Alexander City. At Camnus Direct, we strive to provide top quality products along with professional and courteous service. As a family-owned and operated company, we have over 40 years of combined experience in cabinetry sales and installation. We offer a wide range of cabinetry with fully customizable options. We also use only locally made products, keeping our money in our community. For more information, give us a call or visit our showroom, Cabinets Direct. Miss Kitty's Country Kitchen in Hackneyville is serving up some good old-fashioned cooking. From their famous fried catfish to delicious chicken fingers, pork chops, hamburger steaks, and even prime cut steaks, as well as sandwiches. Don't forget about their daily lunch specials for that quick, good down-home lunch every Tuesday through Friday. Miss Kitty's Country Kitchen makes it so good, you'll think mama's in the kitchen. So load up the family and go see Miss Kitty and Tommy for the best food at affordable prices in Hackneyville. Call 256-329-3111. Open Tuesday through Saturday from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. Young's Drug Store has proudly served the citizens of Limeville and the surrounding areas for more than 50 years, providing fast, friendly service. At Young's Drug Store, you're more than just a number, which is why we strive to always greet you with a warm hello and friendly smile. Young's Drug Store offers a convenient drive through window, prescription compounding, vaccination services, and after-hours emergency availability to better serve you. Young's Drug Store now even has the convenience of viewing and refilling your prescriptions online at youngsdrugstorellc.com. Young's Drug Store, located on Highway 9 in Lineville, 256-396-5. 5632. First State Bank is a community-owned bank established in 1971 with a mission to be the bank for all people in the area with a primary focus on good old-fashioned customer service. First State Bank has convenient branches located in Lineville, Ashland, and Widawi. Since its founding, First State Bank has continued to grow and keep up with the banking industry changes in technology to give its customers the best service available, such as internet and mobile banking. First State Bank, here to make dreams come true for people just like you. 
Harris Plumbing and Electric, just off the Ashland Square, has everything you need from the floor to the ceiling. Any project, big or small, looking to upgrade those dinosaur appliances? They have a huge warehouse of scratch and dent GE appliances that will save you thousands. You'll even have to look real hard for the scratches, and they come with factory warranties. You owe it to yourself to shop Harris Plumbing and Electric, where your dream kitchens become reality. Located just off the Ashland Square, give them a call today at 256-354-5600. Harris Plumbing and Electric is a proud supporter of high school athletics. We're selling all brand new cars below invoice. That's right. You buy a new car from us, it's below invoice. We have interest rates that are below those credit union interest rates. We even have 0% on new vehicles. And we have one of the greatest selections to choose from. We have Chevrolet, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram. We got it all. So you come see us right here at Clay Automotive and experience the new Clay Way. And welcome back to Hallman Automotive pregame show on WAXC TV. I'm Tommy Wood along with Jeff Coburn as we get set for week number one of high school football action. Clay Central Volunteers taking on the Munford Lions. And Jeff, when you talk about a Central Clay County team, you talk about defense. That again is going to be the bell cow of this team. You're exactly right, Tommy. And that defense is what they've tried to build their program on. Coach Heron to tell you the first thing they work on in spring practice and in fall practice, getting their defense set. It all surrounds or works around Peyton Reynolds. Peyton's been the leader, been an All-State player the last two years. He has got to get people in the right position. Coaches have all the confidence in the world in him to put people in the right position, to make the right calls, and uh, Peyton's going to step up tonight, and we'll see big things out of him. Another player that we want to keep an eye on tonight is Kobe Robinson, defensive tackle. Had a great year last year. Injured a couple of times, missed a few games because of concussion, different things like that. When he's healthy, he's really unstoppable. I've talked to some folks in preseason practice, and they say this guy just hadn't been blocked. Well, he really really takes over that defensive line. And we, you remember back to last year, the home opener against Trinity Presbyterian, he was our player of the game that night. He got a concussion, concussion in the game the following week and had to set out two or three weeks, and they missed him dearly. Colby Robinson, a big guy along that defensive front that they need to stay healthy. One area we need to talk about is the secondary. Really, everybody graduated there. This is a fresh unit back there in the defensive secondary, and I know that uh, I saw Munford play in the spring. They're going to throw the football. That secondary's got to come up big but let's talk a little bit offensively Jalen Lyles last year over 2,000 yards really led this team put him on put the team on his back basically and made some great things happen they expect a lot out of him in different roles this year they do they're going to line him up in the uh, pistol formation shotgun formation a lot of times to, uh, taking the snap and letting him do what he can do and that's basically the way they ended their season last year everybody knows Central had no passing game they had to put the ball in Jalen's hand he came through for him again as you mentioned over 2,000 yards, but this year you're going to see him running some pistol, getting a little bit uh, quicker to the corners, trying to make play, make things happen in the open space. We're going to see JT Burns. We're going to see Peyton Reynolds. That's going to be a surprise, but I've heard a lot of good things last two or three weeks with Peyton under center, especially throwing the football on the short intermediate passes. So really a totally different look that they're going to try to get some different packages in the game, maybe catch Mumford off guard and not allow him to do the defensive substitutions. Jeff and I talked about this on the way up here, and the one thing that's always seemed to be a trait of this team since it started, not a lot of size on the offensive front. Dawson Taylor at center returns. Also, you got Trey Kidd at 280 pounds, easily the largest player on that central line. And uh, really, other than that, a very small unit, but uh, we expect a scrappy unit as well. Well, it's a small unit from top to bottom, Tommy. I was looking over the roster. Out of 71 kids I think they've got on their roster, they've only got 10 kids over 200 pounds. That's going to be a big factor down the road during this season because the higher you move in classification, generally the bigger the guys get. But uh, Central is so well coached. They play good technique football. That's going to be the key to their success. That's going to about wrap up the Hallman Automotive pregame show with Tommy Wood and Jeff Coburn right here on, the, on a Friday night, a very warm Friday night. When we come back, it'll be time for kickoff. It's week number one of Vol Football on WAXC-TV. You may know them from high school, from the local grocery store, or even your own neighborhood. These local teens have embarked on a new journey, one that begins at Southern Union State Community College. Visit suscc.edu forward slash journey to see the life's journey these students have planned. We believe that you have an amazing journey ahead of you too, and Southern Union is the perfect place to begin at an affordable price close to home. Southern Union, where the journey begins.
It's football season, and the Tide is ready to roll again. Bama fans, make sure you have everything you need to show your Tide pride. Bama wear on Highway 280 in Childersburg has it all. Polo coaches shirts, game day t-shirts, hats, watches, autograph memorabilia, Daniel Moore prints, and home goods. Bama wear is also the original home of the popular Bama girl t-shirts and has plenty of Tide stuff for the Bama ladies, including houndstooth purses, dresses, raincoats, and more. So whether you're gearing up to show your Tide pride at home or the game, there's only one place to go. Bama wear on Highway 280 in Childersburg. You can also get your Tide gear online at BamaWear.com. Roll Tide. How come we're selling brand new 2015s when the other guys are selling leftover 2014s? Because we're the auto giant. They come in right now. 2015 Honda Fit, folks, 41 miles per gallon. Look at this, $97 a month. The all new Sarah Honda, Selicaga. You come and see us. Hey, it's bigger selection, it's better prices. It's the Honda Summer Clearance Event. Come in right now, folks. One example, fun to drive Honda Accords like this, just $139 a month. Come on, that is so low, you can't say no. Sarah Honda, Silicaga, you come and see us. The best Mexican dining experience around is found at Monte Albon Mexican Restaurant. Real authentic Mexican cuisine and atmosphere awaits you at Monte Albon with great specials on popular dishes such as the new chimichanga with shrimp, only $10.99. Beef for chicken chimichanga specials for only $3.99. Choose from select lunch or dinner combinations. Buy one and get one half off. Want to celebrate your birthday? Get a free drink, meal, and dessert when you dine in. Two convenient locations on the Court Square in Ashland and on Highway 9 in Lionel to serve you. Lake Martin Vein and Laser Center specializes in all things vein and laser oriented. Our physicians treat varicose veins and spider veins. We also utilize laser technology for things such as hair removal, tattoo removal, laser skin tightening, and laser facial peels. Wouldn't you like to see those unsightly varicose veins or spider veins disappear? Remove that dark, unwanted hair or eliminate fine lines and wrinkles. Most procedures are done in 15-minute sessions. Visit our website at lakemartinvein.com or call our office today at 256 21 9300 For top quality sales and top quality service to back it up, look no further than Chainsaw Sales and Service on Highway 9 in Goodwater. Get the best names in chainsaws, trimmers, and mowers. Steel. A leading brand in chainsaws and lawn equipment. Hustler. The top selling zero turn lawnmower. At Chainsaw Sales and Service, you not only get the best product available, you can count on Jackie and his staff to provide the best service around for all your small engine needs from parts to service. Contact Chainsaw Sales and Service at 256-839-6607. Looking for a reliable mid to late model vehicle at an affordable price? Hallman Automotive of Lionville can help you with several lending options to get you the best rates and with low payments on cars, trucks, and SUVs. Credit problems? No worries. Hallman can get you financed. Hallman also has Graceland Portable Buildings and many options with financing available and no credit check. Need work done? Count on Hallman Automotive and Transmission. Certified ASC technicians with 25 years experience in business. Alignments, brakes, transmissions, tires, and much more. Count on Hallman Automotive for all your auto needs. A hometown business with hometown people you can deal with. And welcome back to Munford, Alabama. A very warm Friday night to open up uh, the 2014 season. I'm Tommy Wood along with Jeff Coburn. As you see, the Central Vols taking the field as they get set uh, for our game one. And, Jeff, it is a warm night. Tommy, it's not warm. It is hot. Uh, as we talked about earlier, starting a week earlier, and really the hottest – hottest days we've had this summer have been this week and probably 92 93 degrees uh, here this afternoon but uh, these guys have worked in this throughout the summer and you just hope that condition is paid off you know I think that uh, pretty much both uh, sets of coaches would tell you that all day today every player has had water in their hand or Gatorade in their hand all day because it's going to be a, a very humid night and uh, as a coach you, you are very concerned about cramps and things such as that. Yeah, and they had a little bit of a shower here just before we arrived at the stadium. So, you know, any moisture that falls is just going to cause that much more humidity. But everything's dry right now. But, uh, again, these players, they they got to have some depth. They've got to have some guys step up behind them and give them a breather throughout this game. Let's talk a little bit about the, the Munford Lions, the team we saw last year. And, uh, of course, Will Wagner now in his fifth season, 28-18 here at Munford falling to Aniana last year in a, a tight game here at Munford uh, in the 4A semifinals, and uh, they fall in that game. They averaged 31 points a game last year, giving up 15. 
Offensively, the star is C.J. Chapman. He is a force to be reckoned with. 800 yards, 11 touchdowns in 2013, and he dominated the spring game against Bibb County. And Tommy Gone from last year is their quarterback, Garrett. They're really having to step up and replace him, but they're depending on C.J. Garrett to step up and fill that role of senior leadership. You're talking about a bit against uh, Bibb County. Just an incredible athlete, over 800 yards uh, receiving last year with 11 touchdowns, and uh, Mumford's going to look to try to get him the ball offensively any way they can. As you see out on the field, it's time for the Lake Martin Vane and Laser Center uh, coin toss. They are taking part out at midfield, taking a look at some of the captains uh, for Central. As we uh, take a look out there, it is uh, number 70, and that is Justin Denny along with Quasi Jennings. Uh, it looks like Hunter Bickerstaff and Jalen, uh, not Jalen Miles, as far as um, shielded by C.J. Chapman, as we were talking about, uh, as the other uh, captain out there. And, of course, Central dressed in the road white jerseys with the red numerals. And uh, Munford, as you can see, Trey Robertson, uh, what a force out there standing in midfield, 6'3", 270. He has started at Munford for three years, and uh, I look for him to be a key tonight. They will try to run the ball behind number 79. Yeah, they want to get their running backs uh, going behind him and get Robson up front off the right side. As you mentioned, 6'3", 270 pounds. A lot of folks looking at that young man. He's looking to have a breakout season. Also, uh, we want to talk about uh, the quarterback uh, for Munford. Brett Haney has had a two-year layoff uh, from football. He's a great baseball player. He comes back, replaces Monteo Garrett. Now, this guy, I saw him in the spring game he is a great passer really a, a bigger kid and uh, he stands back there throws a good ball and that is going to be huge tonight if the central secondary can find a way to slow down Brett Haney. Well, they're going to have to come up and challenge him at the line of scrimmage because if you give Haney time uh, to really zip those quick uh, passes out in the flats and give uh, C.J. Chapman room to run in the open field, it's going to be a long night uh, for the secondary. But they've got to come up, play man coverage, and challenge them off the line of scrimmage and not back off and give them anything soft. Defensively, linebacker Austin Stevens, uh, the team's leading tackler last year as a sophomore, including one game, Jeff, 17 tackles against Ardmore. This guy is a tackling machine. He really is, Tommy Stevens, 5'11", 195 pounds, and uh, really just learning the game. As you mentioned, only a junior, but uh, they really expect him to anchor uh, that defense and get them in position. Let's take a look now at the starting lineups as Munford will be offensively uh, on the field as we open it up. Uh, again, Brett Haney, 6'190", the senior quarterback. The running backs back there with him. Charles Smith, 5'11", 180, a junior. Calvin Smith, 5'9", 160, a senior. Along the front line, you got Jakari Robinson at center, 6'2", 275, a sophomore. The guards are Seth Thomas, 5'10", 260, a junior. Caleb Jennings, 6'3", 220, a junior. The tackles are Hayden Bussey at 6'2", 235, a junior. And also Trey Robertson, as we mentioned, 6'3", 270. He is a senior. Christian Caldwell is the tight end, 6'3", 200. He is a senior. The wideouts, as we mentioned, Chris Haynes, 5'8", 160, a senior. And C.J. Chapman, 6'1", 190, a senior. He's the guy, Jeff. I feel like they're going to do everything they can to get him the football in a variety of ways. Tommy, they're going to get it, try to get him in, uh, get it to him real quick out in the flats. They're going to uh, challenge this and try to stretch this defense and go deep with him some, come across the middle. C.J. Chapman's a guy that can catch the ball anywhere on the field. But one thing, as, from the volunteer standpoint, you can't solely concentrate on him. You mentioned Chris Haynes on the other side, a young man that can hurt you and not get open and catch a ball. Actually, Munford deferred until the second half, so uh, the uh, Vols will have the football to open it up. And uh, back deep, JoJo Staples. And also back there with him, looks like uh, is it Jacob Lett over here on this, actually 83. And that is Andrew Milstead. And in the middle, it is number nine. And that is DJ Ford. We'll get your Central Vols starting lineup here in just a moment as we get ready for the kickoff of tonight's game and the 2014 season. Kicking off for Munford, Seth Thomas. As he will approach it. High end over end kick. Going to be taken at the 15 yard line to the 20 yard line and breaking it to the outside across the 25 and out to the 26 yard line. Trying to get the number there. Is number that, 80. Uh, uh, how about uh, 39 maybe? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about uh, number 80 for Mumford. They might in on the tackle. That's Austin Hurst. Malik Dark on the carry there. Offensively, 
The Volunteers will come out. Jalen Lyles looks to get the start at quarterback. Again, ran for over 2,000 yards last year. Splitting out to the near side is D.J. Ford. J.T. Burns will go to the far side. And actually, that is Peyton Reynolds in there at quarterback. Now he shifts to the left. Lyles will take it. Keeper left side. Finds a gap. Cuts it back in. A spin and a dive out to about the 34-yard line. Good gain on first down as it's about a seven-yard game. Brings up second and three. Tommy, that's what they're going to try to do is get Lyles back there in that pistol formation. Just let him run those little read option plays, try to find the holes and get into the secondary. Lyles loses not only the shoe, but, but the, the sock. sock as well. He will have to check out, and the offense will have to have wholesale substitutions as they will come in. Dawson Taylor, the junior center, 6'2", 190. The guards, Adam Milam at 5'10", 210, a junior. Justin Denny, 5'8", 175. Burns in under center. It's in the wishbone set. Goes quasi Jennings right side. Jennings has got the first down, and he hammers his way out to the 40-yard line. Good couple of uh, snaps here early in this game for the uh, Volunteers. They come off the ball well, get some penetration, open up some holes. Quasi Jennings, we talk about him coming alive uh, into his own last year, 5'3", 145-pound senior. Not real great between the tackles, but you give him a little bit of crease. He's got the speed to go a long way. The play gains a Clay County Automotive first down. Back to the wishbone go the Volunteers. Two tight end look. Ball on the right hash. Hand off this time to the left side. Cutting it back in. Getting good yardage to the 45-yard line. As uh, the Volunteers, very productive opening drive. And that again is number 39, Malik Dart. Yeah, they right up the middle, a little dive play that time and got good penetration in the line up front. All they're, they're outnumbered size-wise across the front. They're getting a good push off the snap of the ball. Second down at about five as the Volunteers come to the line. Jalen Lyles back in at quarterback with Quasi Jennings to his left. He'll take the snap, fake it, drop back to pass, pump fake, gets away from the defender. Now he's going to tuck it under and run, try to get a block. Trying to bounce it outside, and he will get close to first down yardage. Let's see where he stepped out. And the official marks him at about the 47-yard line. Tommy is looking, trying to look and go deep to D.J. Ford on the near sideline, but pressure off the corner forced him out of the pocket. J.T. Byrne uh, missed a block out here on the corner. That could have been a big gain for Jalen Lyles. Makes it third down and a couple. As the Volunteers will come to the line, Burns will go to the far side. Reynolds tight in formation to the right. Lyles, along with Jennings, in the backfield. Third and two. Staples in motion. They will give it to Staples. Tries to bounce it outside. Got a first down and more. JoJo Staples turns the corner. Is he going to outrun everybody? 25-20. Down the far sideline. Chopped down at the 10-yard line. JoJo Staples. Tommy goes 42 yards. His play designed to go off tackle. Nothing there. He bounces it to the outside. Uses that speed. Once he gained the corner, turns it upfield. And the only guy had to come all the way across the field. I believe that was Trainus Patterson. The safety on the near side got an angle on him and stopped him inside the 10. Another Clay County automobile. First down, see the new Clay Way where cars are cheaper in the country. Another first down on the drive for the Clay Central Volunteers. Two split outs right, one comes to the left. Lyles takes it, goes to Quasi Jennings. Jennings with a little gap, sneaks through a hole, and he will hammer his way down close to the five. Tommy, early on we're seeing Central use Quasi Jennings between the tackles, a little bit unusual from what we've seen in the past, but uh, they've got to be careful. Quasi, only 140 pounds, real good runner, but it, last year we saw him injured a lot, just not able to use his body to shed those tackles. He's not capable of taking a big beat. Second down and five, and a timeout on the field as it looks as if Munford will yeah. take the timeout. We're going to keep it right here. Again, we want to thank all of our sponsors uh, who are going to be bringing you volunteer football throughout the season, WAXC TV. They include Monty Albine, Curley Motor Company, Alexander City, State Farm Insurance Agent Mike Coleman, and Abernathy Farm Supply as they will be bringing you these broadcasts, and we appreciate you joining us again. A warm night in Munford. Central Vols take the opening kick, and they've pretty much moved it down the field very methodically, Jeff. They have, and they've, they've just uh, not really been predictable either way. They've gone to the outside between the tackles, tried to throw the ball, and uh, just the, the coverage broke down. But, uh, you know, they're, they're mixing it up. They're getting things done. And uh, a lot of credit to the guys across the front, and Denny Taylor, uh, Milam, and Denny and Kidd, and Reynolds, the guys up front blocking, getting a good push off the snap of the ball and opening some holes. Let's talk a little bit more about that offensive front. Trey Kidd at tackle 6'2", 280. 
DJ Denny, the other tackle, six foot two fifty five. Peyton Reynolds, a tight end, six foot two ten. DJ Ford on the outside, six two one eighty five, a junior. Davin Flanord at the other wide out, six foot one fifty five. And JT Burns in slot formation, five nine one forty. Second down, goal to go, just outside of the five yard line. You see it there. Flanord goes to the right side. Ford comes to the near side. Lyles alongside with Dark in the backfield. Lyles keeps it, tucks it under, lowers his shoulder and goes down to the four. Going to get the first down. Tommy got inside the five-yard line. It's going to be a first and goal. That should be third and goal. There's I'm sorry. Inside. You're right. They third drop down it. and goal to go inside the five at about the four. That time just reading the option down the line. He had Dark trailing him, but tucked it under, able to get a yard. Big down coming up here. You know, Central, uh, excellent uh, Special teams with Isaac Andrews, but they'd love to get it across the goal line here. They go back to the wishbone. JT Burns comes up under center. Wishbone set on third and goal from the four. Burns left side. Jalen Lyles, he's trapped as he will be trapped in the backfield and chopped down. Time at number 40. That's Casey Lack Lackey uh, right through the middle, came untouched and got him in the backfield and tripped him up. Uh, Going to be a loss of about two yards. Got him on the blitz and... The Volunteers will go for the field goal. Isaac Andrews will be on for the field goal. They'll put it down somewhere around the 12-yard line, make it the 13. One thing about it, he's still got his snapper back, Dawson Taylor, the holder, J.T. Burns. And he'll try to put the Volunteers on the board. Good drive. They'll try to finish it off right here with a 23-yard field goal from the near hash. Tough angle. Snap good, hold good, the kick is up. The kick is right through there. Good kick by Andrews, and the Volunteers lead three to nothing. Good drive that time, uh, first drive of the season. They get down, they get points out of it. Uh, naturally, they try, wanted to try to get it in the end zone, but with Isaac Andrews, Tommy, the way he, the young man came alive last year, you think he would feel pretty confident inside of 25 yards that Isaac's pretty automatic and proved at that time from a bad angle. Had a good pressure coming from the outside and uh, just lifted the football up and threw the uprights, and the Volunteers are on the board for the first time here in 2014. Three to nothing, the lead over the Munford Lions. Tommy, we'll talk a little bit about Isaac Andrews, a six foot, 185 pound senior. This is a young man who really worked his way and earned the respect of this team. He worked, we, you and I both know how hard he worked last summer on his kick and to earn it. Couple of big ball games for him early in the season gave him a boost of confidence and he'd been special on his team. He uh, participated in several kicking camps this summer. And uh, again, there is some college interest uh, from some of the uh, college scouts about having the leg of number 37. As you see on the board there, First State Bank score, the bank for all the people in the area, here to make dreams come true for people just like you. First State Bank score now three to nothing. Volunteers on top, Andrews to kick it off. Back deep for the Munford Lions, number three, Charles Smith. Good kick by Andrews, Smith retreats back and it's gonna be an end zone. And that's the best kickoff you can have as the, the Munford Lions will start first and 10 at the 20-yard line. And he gets to go, goes back to show how much he's worked this summer. It's something that was rarely seen uh, during the season last year was a kickoff into the end zone, most of them around the 15 or 20-yard line. When you can do that, force them to start at the 20, makes a long field. And with the uh, players that you have in the skill positions for Munford, you would like to limit their touches exactly. here tonight. Chapman goes to the far side. Brett Haney, again, the quarterback, lines up in shotgun formation. He's got Smith next to him. Four-man front for the Volunteers. Haney sends Chapman in motion. They'll take it, fake it to him. Now here comes Haney up the gut. Got a little bit of a running room, and then he is drilled. That is Colby Robinson. Picking up right where he left off with a big hit. It's second and long. Robinson and also looks like uh, number 53 up front, I believe it was maybe uh, for Lane the Brown volunteers. Now. Lane Browning with a big hit, but they're showing you, they, they showed the speed sweep that time to Chapman, trying to get Central to key in on him, and Haney keeps it up the middle for about three. This time Chapman will line up at quarterback in the shotgun formation. They spend three split three receivers out. You got to think number six is going to keep this pick skin. Movement on the interior, DJ Denny jumps in there and knows. And that's going to be an offside call, and uh, Munford will move it forward five. Well, the first flag of the season, and just a little bit anxious that time, got uh, going a little bit early, and then uh, 255 pounds, Denny just not able to check up and draws the penalty. Haney comes back in at quarterback now. Shotgun set. 
Second down and a couple to go. Trips to the left side. You see it there at the top of your screen. Haney takes the snap. He's going to keep it again. Bobby Carter's got him and will haul him down. The ball is loose, and it's recovered. Tyler Smith recovers it for the Volunteers. Great hit by Bobby Carter to jar it loose. And Bobby Carter, a good job of just staying at home on the backside, Tommy. Saw that play develop. May the tackle strip the ball. Tyler Smith, the new linebacker for the Volunteers, there to pounce on it. Great play by the Volunteers. 7.30 left here in the first. Three to nothing. Vols on top, and they take over after the fumble. First down and 10 at the 29-yard line. You talk, the Vols. you talk about Haney been out for a couple of years that time, just not protecting the football and didn't wrap it up. Two receivers go right. That is Staples along with Ford. JT Burns to the near side. Jalen Lyles keeps it, gives it off to Quasi Jennings. Quasi's chopped down. That is Austin Stevens. Great play in the backfield. Quasi able to grab about a yard, but that's going to bring it. That'll be about second down and nine. Tell you, Mufford runs this 3-4 defense, and they've got four good linebackers back there, three seniors and a junior. Stevens being the junior guy, but good hustle that time. Shot the gap and made the tackle. Peyton Reynolds comes in with the play, and he will give it off. You got Lyles in the backfield with Jennings. Burns goes right side. Staples along with Ford to the near side. There's Reynolds in motion. This time, Lyles keeps it left side, hurdles a defender. Not much gain on the play. Again, the penetration right up the gut there. And Tommy, that's from the nose tackle. Uh, Greg Lawrence got the penetration in the middle, and number 14, Stevens, once again there to finish off the tackle. Big third down play right here. For the Volunteers, you're sitting at the 27-yard line after the turnover. You know Coach Heron and his staff want to get six right here. Ford goes to the right side, trips to the near side. Lyles, along with Jennings in the backfield. Lyles drops back, going to throw the fade out there to Ford. Ford jockey for position, makes a dive for it, and there's going to be interference there. Tommy, I'm not sure who they're going to call it on. Both of them was battling for the ball, but D.J. Ford with a tremendous effort to go get it. I'm not sure this is not going to be against Montford. Austin Campbell on the coverage, and again, a push at about the four-yard line. Ford tried to cut inside, and they just battle. Let's see who they're going to call this one on. Pass interference, and it will be against the Munford Lions. Exactly. Ball was in the air, and uh, again, that is going to be a huge play because it's going to be first down yardage for the Vols. Tommy, I think you go back and look at that. Both of them fighting for the football, but uh, the officials deemed it that uh, Munford was the interference that time, but a big, big play for Clay County. It will be first down yardage. They will move it forward as they will take it inside the 20 yard line, inside the 15 to the 13. It is first down and 10 for the Vols at the 13 yard line of Munford. They lead three to nothing. You see there on your screen there, trying to add to it right here. Back to the wishbone go the Vols. JT Burns in at quarterback. He will give it on the right side. That is Malik Dark. Dark bounces outside, he goes in. Great run and great blocking on the right side. Malik Dark in for six. It's nine to nothing ball. Tommy, that time the coaching staff saw the aggressiveness of the front guys up front from Mumford. They came back with a misdirection, got them by a step. Dark with that quick speed uh, gains a corner and nobody out there between him and the goal line. 13 yard run for Malik Dark. Here with 6.05 left in the first period. And the Vols lead, nine to nothing. Isaac Andrews tries to hit double digits here. His kick is up, his kick is right through there. 10 to nothing, Volunteers lead here at Munford. Tommy, one thing they, they wanted to do coming here and take uh, advantage of any kind of break that Munford would give them, they did that with a turnover uh, early in this game and uh, convert it into seven points. About a 27 yard touchdown drive. Again, you go back and Andrews kick starts it at the 20 and a couple of plays later, Bobby Carter causes the turnover. And now the Vols take a 10 to nothing lead here on the road at Munford. And you, you mentioned it a while ago when you can keep the ball, kick the ball into the end zone and keep it out of the hands of Smith and Chapman, those speedsters back there, uh, along with Cameron Turner for Montford. You, 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 you way ahead of the ball game. You force them to start on the 20, but there again, you don't give them a chance to bust something big. Andrews again for the kickoff here. As they kick off right to left, Smith, Chapman, 
and Turner await the kick. Low, wobbly kick, going to be taken by an up man at the 25. Good return up the middle of the defense and then drawn down at the 45. That time, Andrews did not get it solid. And the return, great return for number 16, Avery Harris. And now Munford will start at the 45. Tommy, a real risky decision by Harris that time to step in front of that uh, low line knuckleball. Uh, but he came up with it cleanly and sets Munford up in great field position. Heat timeout on the field. We'll take the break. 5.58 left in the first period. It's been all central. 10 to nothing. Volunteers lead back in just a moment with Vols football on WAXC TV. We're selling all brand new cars below invoice. That's right. You buy a new car from us, it's below invoice. We have interest rates that are below those credit union interest rates. We even have 0% on new vehicles. And on our pre-owned selection, we have the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles that we've ever had here at Clay Automotive. So you come pick you one out, you'll love it. And come experience the new Clay way. At Camnus Direct, we strive to provide top quality products along with professional and courteous service. As a family owned and operated company, we have over 40 years of combined experience in cabinetry sales and installation. We offer a wide range of cabinetry with fully customizable options. We also use only locally made products, keeping our money in our community. For more information, give us a call or visit our showroom. Cabinets Direct. Do you smoke or dip and want to quit but haven't been able to with conventional means? Try Vapor. It works. Highway 9 Vapor has hundreds of flavors of e-liquid from full and light flavor cigarettes to Cuban cigar flavor, even Dreamsicle, Blueberry Waffle, and many, many more. Visit Highway 9 Vapor online at highway9vapor.com. That's H-W-Y, the number 9, vapor.com. Call them at 256-252-8665 or stop by the store at 93119 Highway 9 in Lineville. Highway 9 Vapor. Stop smoking and start vaping today. Why pay more for name brand children's, boys, juniors, and Mrs. Clothing when you can save big at Upsy Daisy Resale Boutique in Sylacauga? A great selection of names like Polo, Abercrombie, Mud Pie, and more. Upsy Daisy has maternity clothing for expecting mothers and accessories like bedding, strollers, and car seats. And they're all at affordable prices. And if you're cleaning out your closets, Upsy Daisy will even buy, consign, or offer store credit for trade-ins. See TJ, Cindy, and the rest of the staff at Upsy Daisy Resale Boutique. Boutique in Sylacauga. Depot Computer, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City, is now selling and servicing cell phones, iPads, and tablets. Depot Computer also sells and services computers, laptop, and desktop, accessories, virus protection. Get them cleaned up now. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Depot Computer, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City. Hey, just in time for back to school, there's a big sale at Sarah Nissan Silicaga. Coming right now, folks, is our bottom line sales event. I mean, brand new versus like this, 40 miles per gallon. Check this out, $99 a month. Sarah Nissan Silicaga. You come and see us. Hold on, I thought of one more thing, folks. During the big bottom line sales event, brand spanking new 2015 Nissan Altima is like this, $5,000 off if you like, $199 a month. Make that short drive. Sarah Nissan Silicaga. You come and see us. Back at Munford, 10 to nothing. Volunteers lead, but a great return of the kick sets up Munford at the 45. Haney, the quarterback, in shotgun formation. He'll take it, drop back to pass, looking deep. Chapman is down there. He's got Chapman. Chapman makes the catch at the 20. Had a great throw by Chapman to, or from Haney to Chapman that time, but got in, got a step on JoJo Staple. Forward late getting over there with a backside help. He dropped it right where he had to. Great pass by Haney for his first completion of the night. He put it right on the money. First down and 10. Munford at the volunteer 20 yard line. Again, the shotgun. Haney, as they will stop. Change the play. Two split outs are either side for Haney. First down and 10. He'll take it. Run option to the left. Tucks it back under, and he's going to be hit and dropped right there. That's got to be Peyton Reynolds. Here comes a flag in late from the official on the back side. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was, unless it might have been a late face mask or something. He will say face mask against the Volunteers. So a great defensive play. 
but the face mask is going to cost Central. And Tommy, coming into the night, what we just saw a while ago is what the coaches had concerned in with their secondary. Young, inexperienced. You got DJ Ford played a little bit back there last year, but gone is Brisky and uh, Bernie and the guys that played the corner at that time, JoJo Staples. Just a stutter step, let Chapman get by him and get, get open. Man to man coverage again. The secondary right up on the receivers. As Haney comes up, it's first down and goal just inside the 10 yard line. They will change the play. Shotgun formation for Haney. He'll take it. And he gives it off up the middle. Smith, nothing. Nothing. Good defensive penetration. They chop down Calvin Smith right at the line. It's going to bring up second down and goal. Peyton Reynolds had once again in on the tackle, and I believe also in there, DJ Denny, number 52, along that front line. Second and goal. This time, Haney. Shotgun along with Smith. He's got Chapman man to man. Sends him in motion. They'll flip it to him. He's coming to the near side, going to try to tuck it under, and they've got him in two, lose three. Tyler Smith, great play along with DJ Ford. And good play. They tried to go with that little uh, rocket or speed sweep to the near side, and the, uh, Tyler Smith just followed it down the line of scrimmage, found his opening, got back there and dropped him for about a two-yard loss. Third down and goal from about the 13-and-a-half-yard line. Ball defense. Trying to tighten up right here. Dawson Taylor comes in at a defensive end spot. Two split outs go to the left. You got Haney and Smith in the backfield. Ford will shade that way. Haney throws the fade out there toward Chapman. Chapman can't hang on. He's out of the end zone. It's incomplete. It's fourth down. Good job, JoJo Staples, watching it over his shoulder. That time he looked up, found the football, just got a hand there at the last minute. You know, if you're Coach Will Wagner, you got to like your odds trying to go to Chapman over there. He is such a talent. You do, but if you coach Murphy on the far side, you've got to cheat D.J. Ford over there a little bit further and give Staples a little bit more help quicker than that. It is fourth down and goal to go. And Coach Wagner now calls for the field goal. He hesitated momentarily, but with 4-12, the Lions will try to get on the board here. Down 10 to nothing at home, you've got you to go for and try to get some points out, out of this drive time and try to get something on the scoreboard. Seth Thomas on for the field goal. They'll put it down at the 19. This is a 29-yard effort for Thomas. The holder, Avery Harris. Snap is good. The kick is up, and the kick is... No good to the right. It stayed to the right. Never drew back in, and the Vols dodged a bullet there, Jeff. Can't blame that one on the win. No win here tonight. Just uh, pushed it a little bit to the right. You're you're exactly right. They get that ball near midfield to begin the drive, and uh, Clay County gave up a couple of big plays uh, through the air, but they stiffened up down inside the 10-yard line and held them out of there for no points. Thanks to all the sponsors bringing you volunteer football on WHC TV, Tallapoosa Ford, Dairy Delight in Ashland, also Depot Computer in Alexander City, Highway 9 Vapor, Central Alabama Community College, all bringing you volunteer football each and every Friday night. And uh, actually, as you catch it, either on Monday night at 7, uh, Sunday night at 7, rather, Monday night at 10, and Wednesdays at 7 o'clock. Balls come to the line. You got Lyles back there with Jennings. Motion is JoJo Staples. They'll Somebody. Have and that's going to be a five-yard penalty. Yeah, somebody along the uh, front moved a little bit early that time, and I believe somebody on the on the left side might have been Denny or Kidd, but they moved just a fraction early, and that's going to cost them yardage. Brings up first down and 15. You're deep in your own territory. Coach Chris Heron would love to get some yardage out of here. Try to put a drive together once again. 4.05 yep. left here in the first. Volunteers lead 10-0 over Munford. And the Volunteers have been methodical with their offense tonight, Tommy. They've worked it to the outside and worked it between the tackles and had a little bit of success both ways. Lyles with Jennings in the backfield. Two receivers right, one goes to the left. This time Lyles keeps it, cuts it inside, breaks a tackle, breaks two, and he's going to be walloped and dropped at about the 23-yard line. Gain of about eight, it looks like. In some different levels, you might call that a read option. That's just get it and go. That's it. Jalen Lyles gets the ball, uh, the snap, and just right uh, to the nearest hole he can find. And that's what uh, Central likes for him to do is try to find that open ground and do what he does best. He has great vision. And at that time, didn't look like there was a lot there. And again, he gains eight yards. JT Burns goes to the right. Staples and Ford come to the near side. 
In motion goes Staples. They'll give it to Quasi Jennings near side. He sheds one, play, one defender, but not the second. No gain on that play, and it's going to bring up third down. Again, Austin Stevens uh, from that linebacker position. Also, Drew Cooper, uh, one of the tackles up front, getting penetration and making the tackle. Clock rolling with 3.13 left here in the first period. A big third down play here. We'll call it third and about seven for the Volunteers. Tommy Wood along with Jeff Coburn. Week number one of high school football here on WAXC TV. Staples goes to the right. JT Burns to the near side. You got Jennings along with, uh, with uh, Lyles in the backfield. Motion goes to Burns. Rolling out is Jalen Lyles. He's in trouble in the backfield. Shakes one defender and he's going to be dropped. He'll lose about three yards. And it's going to be punting time for Central. And Tommy, that time, that play just took a long time to develop. The receivers uh, slow getting out in the patterns. Lyles had uh, people all over him once he turned to look downfield. It's going to bring up a fourth down, and Mumford looks to get good field position here. And earlier this week, Coach Chris Heron was talking about the punters. He named three. <laughs> One name not mentioned was Isaac Andrews. Yeah. But I uh, saw Isaac earlier this week, and he said, watch for me when I come out and punt. He, he won the job this week. Had not punted until probably one, Monday. Probably one of the last decisions they made on starters. So he is in there and to punt this football away. Good snap back there to him. He'll get it out of there. High, wobbly kick. Going to get a decent uh, bounce from Munford because that's going to roll backwards. And now good field position. As uh, that time, Turner unable to return it because it's such a high floating kick. Only about 28 yards, but, you know, outside of the bounce, gives them about five back the other way. But uh, Isaac gets good height on the ball, but a little bit slow getting it away. Mumford with a lot of pressure that time. You can bet Coach Will Wagner, Wagner saw that, and they're going to be keying on that on the next punt. A minute 59 left here in the first period. 10 to nothing, our score. Volunteers on top. Mumford back offensively will send C.J. Chapman to quarterback along with Smith in the backfield. Their version of the Wildcat. First down and 10, about the 48-yard line. Chapman takes it, quarterback keeper all the way around the right side, trying to bounce it outside, and he is going to be hit, tries to spin away, hits again, and then they will drive him back. Gain of a yard and a half maybe, and it's going to bring up second down and long. Terry Chapman's real elusive out here, Tommy. Dutton. He sheds a lot of tackles. D.J. Ford uh, finally comes over to make the tackle along with number 21. That's Deion Drummond's the corner uh, to finally stop him near the far, near sideline. Second down, and uh, they will say he picks up uh, close to three, maybe actually even further than I thought, <laughs> three and a half yards. So second down, we'll say about six and a half for the Lions. Two split outs either way. Haney back in there. Takes the snap. He's going to keep it around the left side, cuts it back inside. He's hit and will struggle forward to about the 42-yard line. He'll be shy of the first down. It's going to bring up third down, and uh, we'll call it about three to go. Tommy, you know one thing that's really standing out to me early in this ball game is Mumford's lack of confidence in their running game. It's either going to be Haney with the keeper or throwing to Chapman. They're really not trying uh, anything to get the ball to the other running backs. And everything we've read about Mumford, uh, really they were talking about Haney as a thrower, not right. really a runner, but he is uh, probably about five carries already here tonight. Third and a long three, maybe short four. Haney, three receivers to the near side. He's got Chapman to the far side. It's going to be Haney. Turns it up first down. He will spin down at about the 35. Going to get enough for the first down. Just ducked in uh, behind big number 78, Seth Thompson, along that left side. side found a little bit of crease and got the first down. Very athletic uh, quarterback there, Brett Haney, as uh, he has shown some confidence in him running the ball. Picks up the first down and 10. Mark the football just outside the 35. 32 seconds on the clock. Another quarterback into the game now. This is Christopher Haynes. As he is in shotgun formation, he will take it and he will keep it around the left side, trying to get a block out there as he will turn it up and take it close to the 30 yard line. Gain of about four, maybe five yards. Right now, I think uh, Mufford played it pretty close to the vest with the keeper, with the quarterback they're using. Chapman uh, about as wide out as he can go to try to stretch this defense and find a little bit of a gap. And that play will wind up the first at the end of one. It is 10 to nothing. Volunteers lead over the Mufford Lions. You're watching Clay Central Volunteer Football right here on WAXC-TV. 
in a world that's ever changing. You have to be sure that your choices are the right choices. At Central Alabama Community College, you'll know you made the best choice. We understand that you need the best educational opportunities. Whether choosing a technical degree program, taking courses to transfer to a four-year college or university, or being a part of our national championship winning traditions, Central Alabama will provide you with courses and degree programs in tune with today's workplace. Get a sharper focus on your life by choosing one of our three convenient locations, Alex City, Childersburg, and Talladega. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success. Telepisa Ford is the region's complete Ford dealer with service and sales beyond compare. Telepisa Ford is your F-150 powerhouse with America's best-selling truck with a superior selection on all truck types. Check out our inventory of Ford Mustangs on the lot, all with great financing incentives and an award-winning service department with you after the sale. Hello, I'm Jeff Smith with Tallapoosa Ford, and I'd like to welcome you to our dealership to come and experience a low-pressure sales environment. With no commission salespeople, our sales force is here to serve you. Please come see us today. Tallapoosa Ford, Highway 280, Alex City, where if we don't have it, we'll get it, guaranteed. Young's Drug Store has proudly served the citizens of Lineville and the surrounding areas for more than 50 years, providing fast, friendly service. At Young's Drug Store, you're more than just a number, which is why we strive to always greet you with a warm hello and friendly smile. Young's Drug Store offers a convenient drive through window, prescription compounding, vaccination services, and after-hours emergency availability to better serve you. Young's Drug Store now even has the convenience of viewing and refilling your prescriptions online at youngsdrugstorellc.com. Young's Drug Store, located on Highway 9 in Lineville, 256-396- 5632. Lineville Health and Rehab represents a wonderful alternative to traditional long-term care and rehabilitation. Lineville Health and Rehab will meet your or your loved one's needs. At our facility, you will not only find a commitment to quality, but also a professional and caring staff. We welcome you to a tour at our facilities anytime. Lineville Health and Rehab, Lineville, Alabama, where our family cares for yours. 256 256- 396-2104. For top quality sales and top quality service to back it up, look no further than Chainsaw Sales and Service on Highway 9 in Goodwater. Get the best names in chainsaws, trimmers, and mowers. Steel. A leading brand in chainsaws and lawn equipment. Hustler. The top selling zero turn lawnmower. At Chainsaw Sales and Service, you not only get the best product available, you can count on Jackie and his staff to provide the best service around for all your small engine needs from parts to service. Contact Chainsaw Sales and Service at 256-839-6607. Looking for a reliable mid to late model vehicle at an affordable price? Hallman Automotive of Lineville can help you with several lending options to get you the best rates and with low payments on cars, trucks, and SUVs. Credit problems? No worries. Hallman can get you financed. Hallman also has Graceland Portable Buildings and many options with financing available and no credit check. Need work done? Count on Hallman Automotive and Transmission. Certified ASC technicians with 25 years experience in business. Alignments, brakes, transmissions, tires, and much more. Count on Hallman and automotive for all your auto needs. A hometown business with hometown people you can deal with. Opening up the second period of play, Volunteers lead 10 to nothing. Munford inside Volunteer territory to 31 yard line. Going right to left here on your screen. Receivers to the near side, two go to the right. Haney back in that quarterback, it's second and about six and a half. Haney back to pass, looking, flips it out in the flats, the catch is made. First down yardage. Good stop out there by Drummonds as he will chop him down, but a first down for the Lions. Tommy, good read that time by Haney. He looked off his deep receiver, Quintavious Elston, the guy in motion, just stayed back into the backfield uh, in the flats, kind of hidden that time, and uh, popped out in the open. Haney hits him for the first down. First down and 10, Lions. Haney, shotgun formation. Two receivers to his right, two will come to the left. He got Smith right next to him. Haney back to pass, going to tuck it under, try to run. They've got him, and they'll bring him down. D.J. Denny will bring him down along with Kobe Robinson. Loss on the play of a yard, and it brings up second and 11. D.J. Denny that time just wasn't going to be denied. He kept pushing uh, Jakari Robinson back and back and got him into the face of the quarterback and got him around the legs and brought him down. I had a chance to see Munford play in the spring game uh, at Jacksonville State, and, Jeff, I told you earlier this week, they've got playmakers. You see the athletes yeah. that are out there. And you think sometime they're going to go to him here in a minute. Second down and 11. Haney sends Haynes in motion. Now gives it off to Smith. Smith up the gut. Nothing. 
maybe falls forward for a yard, but uh, again, third and long. And, and to be honest with you, Tommy, that's probably the first true running play we've seen Mufford run uh, from the line of scrimmage tonight. Just a good dive play, try to get something off tackle. Central doing a good job up front with Lane Brown and DJ Denny and Peyton Reynolds. Third down and about nine yards to go. You got to think number six will be in the playbook at this point. And he's going to be, looks like, wide to the near side. Uh, looks like they're going to come trips this way, maybe. Going to stack them up. 10 to nothing, our score. Volunteers on top. Third down and about nine. Back is Haney, sets up the screen to Chapman. He cuts it inside. He's drilled. Right there. Great play by Tyler Smith. Chops him down. It's going to be a gain on the play, but short of the first down. Just a little uh, flanker screen that time as Chapman tries to come to the inside. Once he tried to make his cut, his feet really came out from under him. But Tyler Smith, the young man we saw come uh, into his own last year due to injuries, got some playing time, really stepped up and played well. Smith may come out as the, the toughest 5'5", 175 yeah. linebacker in 5A. Great play there. Three receivers go right. It's fourth down. And before the play can get underway, Coach Wagner will call his second timeout here in the first half. And again, you talk about Tyler Smith uh, when uh, when the James boy got hurt last year, and Tyler uh, stepped up and was called on. He answered all the call. I tell you, with him and Peyton Reynolds together back there, they really make a great uh, combo and uh, do well covering the field and stepping up and filling those gaps. Really does a great job, and uh, he's been fun to watch last year, and again, uh, doing a great job here tonight. Volunteers leading 10 to nothing. Munford facing a big fourth down, and we'll call it about six yards to go. Just inside the 20 at the 19-yard line. Special thanks to all of our sponsors. They include Sarah Nissan of Silicaga, Bama Ware, along with Miss Kitty's Country Kitchen, attorney Marsha Mason, and Chainsaw Sales and Service as they bring you Central High School of Clay County Volunteer Football right here on WAXC. Tommy, when you look across the volunteer roster, especially on defense, you see seven seniors and four juniors and think that's a lot of experience, but they graduated several seniors off this defensive side la last year, and you got some like D.J. Ford, Dion Drummonds, and also number 21, Ladarius Zachary. Had to have a lot of playing time. They're called into duty here. Fourth down, Haney back to pass, throws the floater down there, and incomplete. Threw it behind his receiver, and they turn it over on downs. It will be Central Volunteer Football. Tommy, I mean, they finally go to try to go to somebody else. That time it's number 22, Darren Parker, near sideline. The ball thrown behind him. Had a step on the defender. Uh, looked like uh, Drummond's on the near side, but just underthrown, and Central gets a turnover. Volunteers will try to get back offensively and uh, get back in that rhythm. They had the opening drive of the ball game. As they came out and uh, really moved the football down the field, leading to a field goal from 23 yards of Isaac Andrews. This time Burns will go to the far side. JoJo Staples to the near side. You got Quasi Jennings. As he will line up alongside Jalen Lyles, they shift now to the right side. And it's a quarterback keeper all the way. Lyles gets a little gap, cuts it inside. He will spin and come across the 30-yard line. That looks good for a first down. Going to give him 11 yards and a good lead block out here on the corner. Number 21, that's Ladarius Zachary. We just talked about getting out there. I'm sorry, it's number 31. And that's Marcus Hefflin with a block on the linebacker to really open that up. Also in at right tackle over here for the Central Volunteers, it is number 59, Adam Brown, as he had a great block over here. As he is alongside Adam Milam over here on the right side, so good blocking. This time, split out goes to the far side for the Vols. That is number 25, John David Morgan. Motion man will go, and here comes Lyles on the keeper, cuts it inside, and he will be dropped at about the 32-yard line. Lyles uh, carrying that ball real dangerously that time as he has spun around, almost lost the handle on it. He's got to put it away and protect it, especially down here deep in their territory. You're seeing some fresh faces out there for the Volunteers. Uh, and that includes uh, number 22, J.J. Jennings. And that is, I believe, uh, he may be Quasi's younger brother, and he is. And that's not as much by choice as it is necessity exactly. with his heat with going on. With the heat, on. you've got to try to find you some depth here tonight. Quasi Jennings alongside Jalen Lyles in the backfield. Three receivers left, one to the right. Jalen back to pass, looking, looking, throws it in the flats. It's going to be caught by J.T. Burns. Burns lowers a shoulder. He'll get his first down. And that is first down yardage for the Vols. Good catch and a good way to get across the yard marker for a Clay County Automotive first down. Of course, come see the new Clay Way, where cars are cheaper in the country. Another first down drive for the Clay County uh, Automotive 
and also for the Central High School of Clay County Volunteers. Good throw that time, but a good play by JT Burns to get out there and just find that soft spot in the defense and set out in it and wait on the ball and got enough momentum to get him to the 41 and move the chains. First down and 10, JoJo Staples goes to the far side with Burns. Over here to the near side is DJ Ford. He's got man-to-man -man coverage as Lyles will take it and he will fake it, keep it left side. He's hitting the backfield, spins away, and they say the knee goes down. Yeah. Great play by Kaysen Lackey as he was one-on-one -on -one with Lyles and looked for all practical purposes like Lyles would shake loose. Instead, he'll lose a couple of yards and brings up second and long. Tell you, we spent a lot of time talking about Peyton Reynolds, but Kaysen Lackey has been all over the field uh, for Mumford tonight. 5'10", 180-pound senior. Good job in the backfield that time. Drops him for a two-yard loss. Second down and 12. Again, the shotgun look. Split out comes to the near side. That is Logan Cooper. Lyles, quarterback keeper all the way right up the gut, splits the defenders, he'll lower a shoulder and carry it across the 45 to the 47. That's just tough running right there. And that's what Jalen's known for, and the way he likes to run is lower that shoulder. Don't try to finesse anybody, just run right through them. But to Mumford's credit, Tommy, they're good at tackling on initial contact. They're, they're sure tacklers. They get their hands around the defender, and they stop them. And the officials... Jalen was a little slow getting up, and uh, they're going to make him check out. So, uh, looked like he was walking a little crooked that time. I'm not sure he didn't get his bail wrong. Yeah, he's, he's checking out. He's right on the sideline, so I think he's going to stay in the uh, stay next to Coach Heron, but he will check out for a play. So it brings up a third down, and they'll go back to the wishbone. Here comes JT Burns. Big, important third down play, and now the Vols will call a timeout. Coach Chris Heron says, let's talk about this, and he can actually check and see if uh, Jalen wants to go back in. Here was 7-14 remaining here in the first half. And Tommy, you mentioned young guys like uh, Adam Brown and some of the others giving some relief along that offensive line. If they can, if they can give this coaching staff three or four good reps uh, drive, then that's a big relief to the starters in this kind of weather and this kind of heat. That gives them a chance to catch their breath, get some more fluid in them, and uh, get back out there and play. You know, and that was one of the focus in the offseason is to try to find some depth, especially in the lineman position. And uh, uh, tonight they were going in with all uh, again all hopes of having a defensive front and an offensive front trying to have two different units there and for the most part there's only a couple of players that are going both ways so that has been a huge thing DJ Denny and uh, uh, also I believe he's the only one as far as on the offensive line I guess Peyton Reynolds is yeah. a tight end but now Lyles is back in here when it's third down and we'll say about four yards to go volunteer football here comes JoJo Staples in motion. They'll give it to Staples. He comes around the right side, needs a block. Turns Good it cut. Up. Good cut. He's got his first down. Great run by JoJo Staples, and it's another Clay Automotive first down. And Tommy, another great block out here on the corner by Quasi Jennings going up against number one, Austin Cabell. Didn't take him to the ground, but got him out of the play. Allowed JoJo, JoJo to turn that ball upfield and get the first down. First down and 10 at the 46-yard line. 7:04 <laughs> left in the first half. Now the Volunteers starting to get a little rhythm offensively. Goes back to the wishbone. Two tight end look. JT Burns in at quarterback. He'll take it and gives it off first man through. Nothing there. That was kind of a slow developing play as well. And it's just a fullback dive. But a very wide dive, Marcus Heflin unable to get on track, and it's going to bring up second and long. Yeah, I think he got a little bit too close to the quarterback that time uh, before he got the ball. Heflin uh, hit right at the line of scrimmage, but Mumford with a good push up front. Looked like uh, number 12, and that's Jonathan Best and Greg Lawrence up there to make the stop. Second down and 11 yards to go for the Vols. <coughs> Impressed tonight with uh, JoJo Staples running the football. Yeah. This is something we saw a couple times last year, but he's had a couple of great cuts and showed some great vision here in the first half. Lyles, second and 11. Loads up the shotgun, drops it, picks it back up, loses it again, and this time Mumford's going to pick it up. Yep, never got a handle on it. Number 18 uh, for Mumford. That's Ayat Carruthers in there to jar him loose once he did pick it up. Mumford with a big turnover right at the midfield strike. It will be first down and 10 for the Mumford Lions. It will be a heat timeout here with 6.03. As uh, Let's make sure the officials are going to give it to us. And they will say heat timeout. Let's take the break. You're watching Volunteer Football on WAXC-TV. 
How come we're selling brand new 2015s when the other guys are selling leftover 2014s? Because we're the auto giant. They come in right now, 2015 Honda Fit, folks, 41 miles per gallon. Look at this, $97 a month. The all new Sarah Honda, Selicaga, you come and see us. Hey, it's bigger selection, it's better prices. It's the Honda Summer Clearance Event. Coming right now, folks. One example, fun to drive Honda Accords like this, just $139 a month. Come on, that is so low, you can't say no. Sarah Honda, Silicaga, you come and see us. What a great tradition, serving Clay, Tallapoosa, and surrounding counties for decades. Not just a great store for plumbing supplies and service, but a showroom and salespeople to help you with decisions on brand name Delta faucets and custom shower system. Make sure you pick up the heavy-duty and well-insulated K2 Coolers, Southern Pipe and Supplies, located on Dadeville Road in Alexander City. Call 256-234-4235. First State Bank is a community-owned bank established in 1971 with a mission to be the bank for all people in the area with a primary focus on good old-fashioned customer service. First State Bank has convenient branches located in Lineville, Ashland, and Widawi. Since its founding, First State Bank has continued to grow and keep up with the banking industry changes in technology to give its customers the best service available, such as Internet and mobile banking. First State Bank, here to make dreams come true for people just like you. For over 35 years, Dairy Delight Nationals been providing the area some of the best of your favorite comfort food. From the best burgers around to their famous hot dogs and chicken fingers and sandwiches, even the pickiest of eaters can find some great food at Dairy Delight. And never leave without getting one of the hand-spun milkshakes, banana spits, or soft-serve ice cream just to top it off. Visit Dairy Delight on Highway 77 North, just off the square in downtown Ashland, to discover what everyone's talking about and become a customer for life. Young's Drug Store has proudly served the citizens of Lineville and the surrounding areas for more than 50 years, providing fast, friendly service. At Young's Drug Store, you're more than just a number, which is why we strive to always greet you with a warm hello and friendly smile. Young's Drug Store offers a convenient drive through window, prescription compounding, vaccination services, and after-hours emergency availability to better serve you. Young's Drug Store now even has the convenience of viewing and refilling your prescriptions online at youngsdrugstorellc.com. Young's Drug Store, located on Highway 9 in Lineville, 256-396-5632. Five six three two. Tallapoosa Ford on Highway 280 in Alex City has delivered new Fords for 35 years. Need fuel efficiency with style? See the best selection of 13 Ford Fusions delivering 38 MPG in a new stylish package. Check out the Hybrid C Max crossover now on the lot, offering roomy comfort with an amazing 47 MPG rating highway and city. Hello, this is Jeff Smith with Tallapoosa Ford. I'd like to welcome you to our dealership and experience our low pressure sales. With non commissioned salespeople, our sales force is here to serve you. Visit Tallapoosa Ford Highway 280 Alex City. If we don't have it, we'll get it, guaranteed. When he let the ball go, Fortune didn't put it on the ground. They turned it upfield for about a seven-yard gain, maybe six yards. Big play right here. Third down and about four and a half yards to go for the Vols. They'll try to get another first down. Then you decide what you're going to do as far as trying to get into some type of field goal range before halftime. Isaac Andrews in there at tight end now. Third down and about four. They'll snap it. Hand off up the middle. Jennings can't shake loose, and it's going to be shy of the first down and bring up fourth down and a couple. Not sure they're willing to roll the dice here, Tommy, but just a step away uh, from getting that first down, but it's going to come up about two yards shy, and they'll probably let the clock run down and then call a timeout. That's what I'm thinking. The play clock has not started yet. Game clock, 2.15. Play clock still has not started. It is now. So the Vols will kind of stand around in the huddle and let all this 19 seconds run off before spending that time out. They want to get as much time as they can and then call a timeout and kick this ball away, try to pin them deep. That shows you the respect they have for that Mumford offense. And one thing that you're telling Isaac Andrews is, don't take your sweet time. Let's get it out of there. Well, you know, he's new back there. He looks like a three-step punter, and sometimes we've seen those, those over the years. They can get get in, get themselves in trouble, especially if they get some pressure up front. Make sure you tell the guys up front, you got to really protect the punter right here and get it out of there. 
you got a guy uh, about there snapping the ball. Dawson Taylor has been doing it for a couple of years. They're very good, but he's got to concentrate right now and make sure he gets a good snap back there to Isaac. Gives him a chance to get it off. Fourth down and a couple with a minute 47 remaining. Again, the Vols look to punt the football away. And don't forget at halftime, folks have been talking about this for several weeks. Uh, the Central High School of Clay County Volunteer Marching Band put on great performances last year. And uh, I was told that if you enjoyed last year, this one will really blow your mind. You're going to so love looking it this forward year. To it, so. Should be a lot of fun coming up during our Cabinets Direct halftime. I'm not sure they're going to show punt right now. Yeah, That's there he is. Andrew's back. After the Harris Plumbing and Electric timeout, Andrew's going to try to punt the football away. JoJo Staples is his up back. Last time, pressure came from the right side, so Staples is over here now. This is protect punt. Good snap back there to Andrew. He's got time. Great punt. Good punt. It turns over, and he'll field it at about the 11-yard line. Isaac Andrews. Coming through again with a great punt right there just before halftime. Yeah, that's he can give him about 32, 33 yards on that kick, but more importantly, he got it down there where Chapman didn't feel comfortable making a return, had to call for a fair catch, and uh, gives him about, uh, looks like about 86, 87 yards to go. Everything you wanted right there in that punt, no return, and uh, again, great kick. A minute 40 remaining until halftime. Munford will start inside their own 15 at about the 13-yard line. If you're the volunteers, you got to really play deep here because you know that they're thinking about trying to get the ball to one of these playmakers' hands and make something happen. You've got Elston out here. You've got C.J. Chapman, Charles Smith as well. As they line up on the near side, Haney, shotgun look, first down and 10. He'll take it. He's going to keep it to the left side. He's hit in the backfield and goes down. And uh, game on the play out to about the 15, so a couple of yards. Peyton Reynolds had him around the legs that time, along with number 58, Kobe Robinson, on the near side. Central, good job in this first half of just stepping up, standing their ground, and plugging the holes. That's it, and we, we talk all the time about, again, the lack of size, but you're seeing a defense out here that is really not getting pushed around. They no, are they're very not. physical, and they are coming up, setting the corners, and, uh, again, making the plays. Outside he goes, and that's Haney. He's going to be hit and steps out of bounds just outside the 20, stops the clock with 101. Going to move the chains and give him a fresh set of downs. Haney got out of bounds that time, forced out on the near side by number nine, D.J. Ford. First down yardage to about the 25-and-a-half yard line. But the most important factor right now is that 101 left on the clock. Ball's just not wanting to give up the big play. You got Lyles and Chapman out here. That's a couple of good athletes going ahead to head. First down and 10. Haney takes it, drops back, looking, throws it down here. Nobody's home. DJ Ford can't get there. He's the deepest man. A little mix up uh, in between the quarterback and the receiver Chapman that time. Chapman was running underneath route across the middle. Haney throwing uh, the deep pattern that time. The ball just goes in complete. Second down and 10, 55 seconds left on the clock. One thing, Central right now, DJ Ford, Drummonds, Lyles, they want to keep these guys in front of them. Right. Don't let them get behind them. Make the play in front of you and don't let them have a big play. you got to think that that deep play could be one play away where they look at it again. Oh, quarterback keeper up the right side. Haney shaking and baking. Gets a good gain out to about the 35-yard line. And Central's going to be happy with that oh, yeah. to finish out this half. They're going to be happy to force Haney to run the football and keep it uh, in the field to play and keep that clock going. Clock now under 38 seconds left on it here in the first half. <coughs> Again, your Cabinets Direct halftime show coming up. This time gives it off to Smith right side. A couple of yards on the game. And that's good for a first down. That'll stop the clock with 21 seconds on it. Again, that's, they, they're happy to give them that, let them move the chains, give them a, uh, a new set of downs. But uh, Central right now just playing a little bit soft and making sure nothing gets behind them. 21 seconds left on the clock. Volunteers trying to come up with a defensive stop here. Haney back to pass. Looking, looking, steps up. Now he's going to chunk it for all he's worth. Double coverage down there, and they will knock it away. 
Good play by the Volunteers. Lyles along with DJ Ford. And, you know, you look at Ford, that's a good-looking safety to have a guy that tall back there in rangy. He's 6'2", 185 pounds, a good kid back there, very smart, real coachable kid. The coaches are high on him, really getting his first uh, full-time start this season, but a good job of coming over, giving some backside support to Jalen Lyles and getting out in there and breaking that pass up. Ten seconds left on the clock, and it's going to bring up, again, second and ten, but most importantly, only ten seconds left. Back is Haney. Looking down the middle, he throws it. He's got Chapman undershoots him. Yeah, Good connect. Underthrown. Chapman, again, coming across the seam that time, was open uh, deep in the middle of the field. They just couldn't get him the football. Third down and 10. This will probably be the final play of the uh, first half. As we get set for our halftime show here. Two wideouts come to the near side. That is Elston. Haynes comes over here as well. Haney drops back. Quick bubble screen. Comes to the near side. That's Haynes. He's drilled. Noah Leary's there. Peyton Reynolds. And that is the end of the first half. As the Volunteers take a 10 to nothing lead into the locker room. We'll be back with the Cabinets Direct Halftime Show right here on WAXC-TV. There's more than one way to get professional lawn care. Do it yourself like this homeowner with whatever this is. Pros use reliable, powerful Gravely equipment. This homeowner gets by with something else. Gravely delivers the high performance and quality professionals stake their reputation on. Gravely outpowers, outlasts, outperforms. Get what the pros use. Get Gravely lawn equipment and more at Abernathy Farm Supply in Alexander City. For over 70 years, Curly Motor Company has been serving the Lake Martin area with superior service. Curly Motor Company has quality pre-owned vehicles with down payments as low as $1,000 and flexible payment plans to fit any budget. Most vehicles come with warranties that Curly stands behind and they even service customer vehicles. View all of Curly's inventory online at www.curlymotor.com. Curly Motor Company not only sells pre-owned vehicles but offers much more such as rental cars, headliner repair, and can help you with lost car titles and title work. When you buy a car from Curly Motor Company, you're not just buying a car, you're buying our name. Harris Plumbing and Electric, just off the Ashland Square, has everything you need from the floor to the ceiling. Any project, big or small, looking to upgrade those dinosaur appliances, they have a huge warehouse of scratch and dent GE appliances that will save you thousands. You'll even have to look real hard for the scratches, and they come with factory warranties. You owe it to yourself to shop Harris Plumbing and Electric, where your dream kitchens become reality. Located just off the Ashland Square, give them a call today at 256-354-5600. Harris Plumbing and Electric is a proud supporter of high school athletics. Depot Computer, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City, is now selling and servicing cell phones, iPads, and tablets. Depot Computer also sells and services computers, laptop, and desktop, accessories, virus protection, get them cleaned up now. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Depot Computer, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City. Lake Martin Vein and Laser Center specializes in all things vein and laser oriented. Our physicians treat varicose veins and spider veins. We also utilize laser technology for things such as hair removal, tattoo removal, laser skin tightening, and laser facial peels. Wouldn't you like to see those unsightly varicose veins or spider veins disappear? Remove that dark, unwanted hair or eliminate fine lines and wrinkles. Most procedures are done in 15-minute sessions. Visit our website at lakemartinvein.com or call our office today at 256 21 Red's Catfish Cabin in Crackford, Alabama. Larry Jordan says, y'all come on up here. If you like good catfish, I'm talking about USA Farm raised catfish, you're going to love Red's Catfish. Been around for many, many years. Family friendly, you better believe it. Now, let me tell you just a few things that you can get with that catfish. Hush puppies, cold slaw, some of the best sweet tea you've ever had. Hamburgers, cheeseburgers. So it's not just catfish. That's Red's Catfish Cabin in Crackford, Alabama. Welcome back to the Cabinets Direct Halftime Show. Again, turnkey solutions for customized new or remodeled dream kitchens. That's our good friends at Cabinets Direct. Folks, 
We've heard a lot about it, and now we are privileged to have the opportunity to take a look at the first edition of the Central High School of Clay County Marching Volunteer Band for 2014 as the band takes the field. Again, John David Phillips, the drum major, as he leads the balls out. And let's enjoy tonight's performance.
You're enjoying the halftime show here, brought to you by Cabinets Direct, the Central High School Volunteer Marching Band. Another great performance here tonight, and we'll be checking out uh, the performance throughout the season right here on WAXC-TV. Vols football continues in just a moment. Looking for a reliable mid to late model vehicle at an affordable price? Hallman Automotive of Lionville can help you with several lending options to get you the best rates and with low payments on cars, trucks, and SUVs. Credit problems? No worries. Hallman can get you financed. Hallman also has Graceland Portable Buildings and many options with financing available and no credit check. Need work done? Count on Hallman Automotive and Transmission. Certified ASC technicians with 25 years experience in business. Alignments, brakes, transmissions, tires, and much more. Count on Hallman Automotive for all your auto needs. A hometown business with hometown people you can deal with. In a world that's ever-changing, you have to be sure that your choices are the right choices. At Central Alabama Community College, you'll know you made the best choice. We understand that you need the best educational opportunities. Whether choosing a technical degree program, taking courses to transfer to a four-year college or university, or being a part of our national championship winning traditions, Central Alabama will provide you with courses and degree programs in tune with today's workplace. Get a sharper focus on your life by choosing one of our three convenient locations, Alex City, Childersburg, and Talladega. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success. It's football season, and the Tide is ready to roll again. Bama fans, make sure you have everything you need to show your Tide pride. Bama wear on Highway 280 in Childersburg has it all. Polo coaches shirts, game day t-shirts, hats, watches, autograph memorabilia, Daniel Moore prints, and home goods. Bama wear is also the original home of the popular Bama girl t-shirts and has plenty of Tide stuff for the Bama ladies, including houndstooth purses, dresses, raincoats, and more. So whether you're gearing up to show your Tide pride at home or the game, there's only one place to go. Bama wear on Highway 280 in Childersburg. You can also get your Tide gear online at BamaWear.com. Roll Tide. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the Bankruptcy Code. Marsha Mason is pleased to announce the new location of Mason Law Firm at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Marsha Mason is your local attorney for bankruptcy and social security disability. Call your hometown attorney, Marsha Mason, at 256-329-1313. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Hey, just in time for back to school, there's a big sale at Sarah Nissan Silicaga. Coming right now, folks, is our bottom line sales event. That means brand new versus like this, 40 miles per gallon. Check this out, $99 a month. Sarah Nissan Silicaga. You come and see us. Hold on, I thought of one more thing, folks. During the big bottom line sales event, brand spanking new 2015 Nissan Altima is like this, $5,000 off if you like, $199 a month. Make that short drive. Sarah Nissan Silicaga. You come and see us. Harris Plumbing and Electric just off the Ashland Square has everything you need from the floor to the ceiling. Any project, big or small, looking to upgrade those dinosaur appliances, they have a huge warehouse of scratch and dent GE appliances that will save you thousands. You'll even have to look real hard for the scratches, and they come with factory warranties. You owe it to yourself to shop Harris Plumbing and Electric, where your dream kitchens become reality. Located just off the Ashland Square, give them a call today at 256-354-5600. Harris Plumbing and Electric is a proud supporter of high school athletics and welcome back to the cabinets direct halftime show tommy wood along with jeff colburn uh, the volunteers lead 10 to nothing over the munford lions here again now uh, let me mention cabinets direct some good friends of ours jeff do a great job folks if you're looking to improve your kitchen uh, maybe you're building a home you need to get in touch with the folks at cabinets direct you do they've been in the business for 30 plus years uh tommy they know the business they know what uh, is out there. They got quality products. Do great work. Uh, we've dealt with them in our personal life, and I uh, just thank the world. I appreciate them being a sponsor of the ball game. We really do. All of our sponsors bringing you volunteer football on WAXC TV, and another group we want to thank tonight. That is the Volunteer Athletic Booster Club. They meet each and every Tuesday night, 6 p.m. And uh, you can go by the school, and I'm sure they'll find you something to do. And let me tell you, when you go by the school, you can bet you're going to find a dozen or more of them out there working. Go by and look at the new baseball uh, facility they're building. Uh, something going on all time around the school invo involving all aspects of sports and everything with Central High and the volunteer groups out there being a part of it. Get in touch with Terry Johnson, $30. Uh, you get a volunteer uh, visor, a cap, toboggan, whatever you want. But again, get involved with the Athletic Booster Club. 
Jeff, the defense uh, has been stellar here in the first half of the balls. We knew coming into this season that was going to be their uh, their main cog. They have, this quarter is going to lean on throughout this season, and they've stood the test uh, here in this first half. But the, the, the questions defensively was the corners and the secondary. A lot of young guys back there didn't have a lot of uh, playing experience. I've been impressed with them tonight, Tommy, for the fact they've kept things off the boundary. They, they forced it to the inside where the linebackers and tackles can make the plays. They've not let anything get around them to the outside and get the big plays. Take C.J. Chapman's one catch out of the equation. They've done an excellent job keeping him in check and taking him virtually out of the equation tonight. Very tough against the run. That's the way the Vols have been here in the first half. Offensively, a couple of good drives early. I'm sure they're trying to solve exactly what's going on here at halftime to try to get that offense back on track for the second half. Again, thanks to Cabinets Direct for bringing you halftime show. When we come back, it's third period action. The Vols in Munford coming your way next on WAXC-TV. You may know them from high school, from the local grocery store, or even your own neighborhood. These local teens have embarked on a new journey, one that begins at Southern Union State Community College. Visit suscc.edu forward slash journey to see the life's journey these students have planned. We believe that you have an amazing journey ahead of you too. And Southern Union is the perfect place to begin at an affordable price close to home. Southern Union, where the journey begins. Are you sure we should take this billboard down? People find out State Farm does car loans as well as they do insurance. Our bank is through. Good point. Grab an edge. Look, there's two guys on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. No, for real, there's two dudes on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Gentlemen, please get down from the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Bill, get the hose. Okay, he's getting the hose. All right, let's go. Want to borrow better? Contact State Farm agent Mike Coleman about a car loan that can save you hundreds. First State Bank is a community-owned bank established in 1971 with a mission to be the bank for all people in the area with a primary focus on good old-fashioned customer service. First State Bank has convenient branches located in Lineville, Ashland, and Widawi. Since its founding, First State Bank has continued to grow and keep up with the banking industry changes in technology to give its customers the best service available, such as Internet and mobile banking. First State Bank, here to make dreams come true for people just like you. At Cabinets Direct, we strive to provide top quality products along with professional and courteous service. As a family-owned and operated company, we have over 40 years of combined experience in cabinetry sales and installation. We offer a wide range of cabinetry with fully customizable options. We also use only locally made products, keeping our money in our community. For more information, give us a call or visit our showroom, Cabinets Direct. We're selling all brand new cars below invoice. That's right, you buy a new car from us, it's below invoice. We have interest rates that are below those credit union interest rates. We even have 0% on new vehicles. And we have one of the greatest selections to choose from. We have Chevrolet, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, we got it all. So you come see us right here at Clay Automotive and experience the new Clayway. Red's Catfish Cabin in Crackford, Alabama. Larry Jordan says, y'all come on up here. If you like good catfish, and I'm talking about USA Farm raised catfish, you gonna love Red's Catfish. Been around for many, many years. Family friendly, you better believe it. Now, let me tell you just a few things that you can get with that catfish. Hush puppies, coleslaw, some of the best sweet tea you've ever had, hamburgers, cheeseburgers. So it's not just catfish. That's Red's Catfish Cabin in Crackford, Alabama. Welcome back to Volunteer Football, WAXC-TV. Tommy Wood along with Jeff Colburn here on a Friday night. And uh, Volunteers leading 10 to nothing. They will kick the football off to open up the second half of play. Isaac Andrews to kick it off for the Volunteers. Back deep. Smith standing at about the five-yard line. Andrews, high, short kick. Taken Chapman. to the 10. Chapman to the 15. He is oh. hit and he is drilled back by JoJo Staples. What a play by JoJo as he will drag him down. And Staples has had a great game here tonight, but again, that starts 
back at the 20-yard line for the Munford Lions. Great hustle, and uh, Central always uh, really concentrates a lot on special teams and expects their guys to give 100% at that time. JoJo just out of nowhere uh, with a tackle up around the neck. First down and 10. They'll mark forward progress to the 22-yard line. The Lions will come out. Brett Haney, the quarterback, as Calvin Smith will line up next to him. Two receivers go either way. First down and 10. Haney gives it off to Smith. He's hitting the backfield going down. A loss back inside the 20 at about the 16. Lane Browning brings down Smith. Yeah, number 53, Lane Browning, 5'10", 190-pound senior. Good job off the weak side of following the play and making the tackle. Second down and about 13. Browning and Colby Robinson have been really tough in the middle along with D.J. Denny. Second down, about 13. Haney, shotgun look, receivers either way. Motion man comes, they flip it, they'll flip it back. Here comes Chapman to the near side. He'll try to get a block. They're holding him up and then they'll bring him down. As there was nowhere to go, again, great play over here by the secondary, so tough against the run. Tommy, again, we mentioned Zachary, we mentioned Drummond, both of them out here, had blockers in front of them, but gave no ground, stayed in front of them long enough for the pursuit to get there, and really Chapman nowhere to go, might have picked up two yards. Third down, they will give forward progress to make it third down, and about seven or eight. Three receivers go to the left, one comes to the right. Back is Haney, looking, throws the hitch on the outside, it's caught. Chapman comes near side, shakes the defender, cuts up, and he's got a first down. Tommy, one of the few times tonight they've been able to get him the ball underneath. He shows what he can do. He's real elusive. Uh, once he gets out there in the open field, made a couple of guys miss, moved it down, and picked up a first down. First down and 10 for the Munford Lions after the big play there. Chapman goes to the far side. Two receivers are either way. Haney, shotgun set. Trying to get this offense going. They'll give it off to Smith up the middle. Smith's hit once and then driven back. No gain on the play for Calvin Smith. Colby Robinson in on the stop. D.J. Denny along to help him out. And again, it's the three guys up front, Robinson, Denny, and uh, uh, Browning on the near side. They're doing their job. They're standing, staying with their blockers, not letting them get off and get into the secondary and block the linebackers. They got a lot of help on the backside. Two receivers go left, one will come to the right. It's second down and about 10. Haney takes it, drops back. Looking down the middle he goes. The catch is bobbled No good. Drop. That time Chapman was coming in on that screen and Peyton Reynolds staring him in the face as the ball got there. And him and uh, look like DJ Denny exchanged a couple of words that time, but Chapman uh, really felt the pressure come and never got uh, the ball put away and put it on the ground. Third down and about 10. Bunch set over to the near side. Haney now brings the man in motion to Chapman. They're going to run the, the keeper on the right side. Nothing there, and he's dropped. Maybe a gain of one. Marcus Heflin, Andrew Milstead also in on the stop. Tommy, you're talking about the cleats during halftime. The guy, Mumford's guys have really lost their footing several times tonight. Chapman on a number of cases when he tried to make cut, his feet's gone out from under him, but uh, you'll notice they've got this grass cut real close too. First punt of the night for the Munford Lions. Chapman to boot it away. Back deep, JoJo Staples standing inside the 30-yard line. <laughs> Snap is a good one. Chapman, low end over end kick. Staples can't get close to it, and he's going to let it pop and uh, roll dead inside the 25 at the 24. Smart move that time not to try to feel that knuckleball as it was bouncing. They get decent field position just uh, inside their 25-yard line to begin this first drive of the second half. Scoring summary, Central gets on the board with 8.16 left in the first period. A 23-yard field goal from Isaac Andrews gave the Vols a 3-0 lead, and then with 6.09 remaining in the first period, a 13-yard touchdown run from Malik Dark. Extra point by Andrews made it 10 to nothing. No scoring since, uh, again, six minutes left in the first period. JT Burns slips to the right side. Two receivers come to the near side. Jalen Miles and Quasi Jennings in the backfield. There goes Staples. 
This time it's going to be Lyles gets a little gap, and he will bring it across the 25 to about the 26-yard line. Tommy, again, credit to the Lions' defensive front and their linebackers, Lackey, Stevens, uh, Lawrence, the guys up front. You Knowing Jalen Lyles, you expect him just to wiggle through there in a minute and break out in the open for a big play, but so far they've had good containment between the tackles. You know, these linebackers may be some of the best units uh, we've seen in a while. On both, both sides of the ball, yeah. Both sets of both linebackers teams. are doing great. And yeah, this team from Munford, they get around the football. Two receivers go right. One comes to the left. Lyles, shotgun. JoJo Staples in motion. He'll fake it and then keep it. Lyles gets a little gap, spins away, and he is going to be tripped up again. This time at about the 28-yard line, a gain of a yard, maybe two. Brings up a third down. And we'll call it about five and a half. And again, Case and Lackey in there with the, on the stop, along with help from Devin Strickland, uh, the senior. Both of them linebackers there to make the tackle. Trying to get things set. Uh, and a penalty flag that came across the way, and that's going to be a legal procedure against the Vols. That'll move them back five. And that's something you needed to talk about. First game of the season, you expect a lot of yellow flags. That's the third one tonight against the Volunteers, and I don't think Mufford's had a flag yet. I don't think so. I, I, this has been a very well-played game and well-officiated as well. Last night I was listening to a game, and there were about 26 penalties in that ball game. Again, as you said, only a few here tonight, just a handful. Second down, about 11 for the Volunteers. We're at 8-19 left in the third period. Motion man near side is JoJo Staples. Lyles takes it, drops back. He's going to throw it deep down there for DJ Ford. Ford with a step, but not enough. Just one of those heave hoes that time as Jalen just took a step back and let it go. Ford was able to run under it, but uh, pretty decent coverage on the far side. Looked like Hall over there with deep coverage. Third down and 11 yards to go for this Vol offense. 8.06 remaining in the third period. I like that call. They got to take those chances early in the in the down uh, if they're going to try to stretch this field and spread this defense out. That time going deep on second down, it does put them in a long third down situation. But a good call to try to get it deep down the field. Ford goes to the right side. Cole Burns, uh, J.T. Burns actually comes to the near side. Third and long. Lyles will take it. He'll give it off. There's nothing there. Munford brought the house that time. Blitz from all corners. They guessed right. And now the Volunteers have to punt the football away. You heard us call his name a number of times. That's Case and Lackey again in there on the tackle. And I think number four, Devin Strickland. Andrews back to punt the football, this time standing inside his own five-yard line. Munford threatens to come for this one. Good snap, low snap. He goes down and gets it. Andrews gets it out of there. Wobbly kick. Hits at the 45, going to roll again. No return. Great kick Great by Andrews. Kick. That is huge. Back to the 31. Just when you thought Munford would get great field position, Andrews comes through. Another great kick. Backs him up. That really flips the field position. That's about a 43-yard kick where Munford looked to try to have the ball around, mid around midfield. He let it hit uh, that time, and it took a volunteer bounce, and Isaac Andrews gets the benefit out of it. First down and 10 for the Lions. They'll start at their own 31-yard line. Haney not in there at quarterback. You've got Elston back there right now. Haney splits out to the near side. Little wildcat formation, low snap. Elston picks it up, comes to the near side, tries to bounce it, shakes a defender, and he will bring it out again across the 35-yard line. And a good gain after the bobble on the snap, which may have actually helped yeah. that time. Le allowed the pressure to really get past him that time. He scooped it up, made a uh, good play out of what looked to be a disaster that time. Picks up about seven yards. Second down. We'll call it a long three. Haney back in there with Smith along his side. He's got Chapman and Elston to the far side. Haynes to the near side. It's Haney. Going to keep it. Left side cuts it back inside. He's got his first down. And they fumble. say a fumble on yeah. the play. Vols say they've got it. And they agree. The beanbag came in. And yes, they did. They do. Volunteer football, another turnover. Haney is second of the night, and the Vols come up big. Don't know who jarred it loose, but it looked like it might have been uh, Lane Browning that got up off the bottom pile with the ball. But nonetheless, uh, Central with a big turnover here on Mufford's side of the field. And Brett Haney 
may have the best vision of yeah. any running back I've seen. He finds a crease where there is none. There looked like nothing on that play, and he scampered through a hole and uh, almost picked up first down yardage before the turnover, but now the Vols have it. Good field position. Again, that kick goes back to Mandrews. Right. Very huge at this point because the Vols started in good field position. Wishbone set behind J.T. Burns. First down. They'll shift it to the right, sweep it to the right. Quasi Jennings trying to get outside. Flag on the play as Jennings is hitting the backfield and goes down. The judge on the near side uh, threw it. It might have been somebody offsides on the near side, but I tell you, Mumford loaded up on that side of the ball. They saw where it was going and right there to make the tackle. By the uh, response of the Munford coaching staff, I think they feel like it could be against them. Maybe offsides. They're pointing. And again, the coaches for Munford over here see a legal Munford. procedure against the ball, so it will an illegal shift against the Volunteers. So he's not sure Coach Chris Heron wants a little explanation of that. So again, as they try to explain it to the volunteer coaching staff, the play. And it resulted in about a four yard loss. I think they're gonna decline it, aren't they? It'll be a, it'll be a dead ball, but they only move it back four yards. First and, okay, second and 14, they will we'll take figure it. it out. Yeah, they've not changed the downs marker, but it is second and 14, according to the school board. Wishbone set, handoff left side, and not anything there. Lyles unable to get on track. Again, one of those lines, linebackers, Austin Stevens, uh, steps up there and makes the stop. Uh, right now, Central really struggling to get anything going offensively against this line defense. Both defenses have played very well here tonight. Third down. About 14 yards to go. Timeout on the field. The officials are meeting to discuss. I believe they're discussing which down it is. Yeah. They had first down before that ball was snapped, right. and the scoreboard was showing second. I thought they declined the penalty, took the loss on the play, and it made it second down, so this should be third. It is third down. Tommy, yeah, we've heard all uh, for the last couple of weeks about Peyton Reynolds at quarterback. This right here is just a scenario. I thought they had a package for him to throw the ball in uh, right across the middle. Split out goes to the right. Wishbone set. Third down about 13. Burns drops back. He's going to throw the fade, and it's out of bounds incomplete. It brings up fourth down, and the ball's going to have to punt the football away. And I tell you, that – that's a risky, not a risky play, but a very low percentage play. You not, you try to pick up the first down, I would think, with something underneath or across the middle, but uh, you know, you're only going to get one chance at that out there on the boundary, and that time nobody had a chance for it. Officials are discussing they will take the heat timeout, so we will take the break. We've got uh, 5.53 left here in the third. It is 10 to nothing, balls on top. That's your first state bank score. You're watching Volunteer Football on WAXC TV. There's more than one way to get professional lawn care. Do it yourself like this homeowner with whatever this is. Pros use reliable, powerful Gravely equipment. This homeowner gets by with something else. Gravely delivers the high performance and quality professionals stake their reputation on. Gravely outpowers, outlasts, outperforms. Get what the pros use. Get Gravely lawn equipment and more at Abernathy Farm Supply in Alexander City. Tallapoosa Ford is your Ford truck dealer for over 35 years. We've delivered on America's best-selling truck, the Ford F-150. Tallapoosa Ford has the F-150 you want with a huge selection on site and can order any style or model you need with all the region's most competitive pricing. We service all warranty work with an award-winning service department, so we are with you down the road. Hello, I'm Jeff Smith, and I'd like to welcome you to Tallapoosa Ford, a family-owned Ford business locally owned for over 35 years. Your friend in the Ford business. Visit Tallapoosa Ford on Highway 280, Alex City. Your Ford Giant in East Central Alabama and your friends in the Ford business. For over 35 years, Dairy Delight Nationals been providing the area some of the best of your favorite comfort food. From the best burgers around to their famous hot dogs and chicken fingers and sandwiches, even the pickiest of eaters can find some great food at Dairy Delight. And never leave without getting one of the hand-spun milkshakes, banana spits, or soft-serve ice cream just to top it off. Visit Dairy Delight on Highway 77 North, just off the square in downtown Ashland, to discover what everyone's talking about and become a customer for life. 
Do you smoke or dip and want to quit but haven't been able to with conventional means? Try Vapor. It works. Highway 9 Vapor has hundreds of flavors of e-liquid from full and light flavor cigarettes to Cuban cigar flavor, even Dreamsicle, Blueberry Waffle, and many, many more. Visit Highway 9 Vapor online at highway9vapor.com. That's H-W-Y, the number 9, vapor.com. Call them at 256-252-8665 or stop by the store at 93119 Highway 9 in Lineville. Highway 9 Vapor. Stop smoking and start vaping today. In a world that's ever-changing, you have to be sure that your choices are the right choices. At Central Alabama Community College, you'll know you made the best choice. We understand that you need the best educational opportunities. Whether choosing a technical degree program, taking courses to transfer to a four-year college or university, or being a part of our national championship winning traditions, Central Alabama will provide you with courses and degree programs in tune with today's workplace. Get a sharper focus on your life by choosing one of our three convenient locations, Alex City, Childersburg, and Talladega. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success. Lake Martin Vein and Laser Center specializes in all things vein and laser oriented. Our physicians treat varicose veins and spider veins. We also utilize laser technology for things such as hair removal, tattoo removal, laser skin tightening, and laser facial peels. Wouldn't you like to see those unsightly varicose veins or spider veins disappear? Remove that dark, unwanted hair or eliminate fine lines and wrinkles. Most procedures are done in 15-minute sessions. Visit our website at lakemartinvein.com or call our office today at 256 215 one two ninety three hundred. Hunting time for the Volunteers here with five fifty three left in the third period. Isaac Andrews back in punt formation. Again, Muntinford threatens to come after it. Good snap back there to Andrews this time. He'll get it out of there, kick it away, and it's going to hit. And he feels it. Oh, he in was a yard zone. shy of making a big wow. mistake that time. He feels it in the end zone. And it's going to bring up first down and 10 for the Munford Lions at the 20-yard line. I realize he's just trying to make something happen for his football team, but rule of thumb is anything inside the 10-yard line you don't touch. Don't back his up. back foot happened to be just across the goal line when he caught that ball. First down and 10 for the Munford Lion offense. Again, 10 to nothing. Volunteers have tossed the shutout up to this point. Tell you, for his first time back there punting, Isaac Andrews doing a good job. Had really one is. inside the 15, another one, a 43-yarder a while ago that flipped the field, and that one uh, winds up at the 20. So do a good job for his first night back there. First down and 10, Munford Lions. Haney, shotgun set. Two receivers come to the near side, Elson and Haynes. Chapman goes to the far side. There goes Elson in motion. This time, Haney rolls to the left, throws it out there, incomplete. Just trying to finesse it out into the boundaries. Uh, looked like he was going for Elston that time underneath. And uh, two or three volunteer defenders in his line of sight might not have had a good beat on him, but uh, underthrown that time and goes incomplete. Tough for a young quarterback, and we say young, he's a senior, but he hadn't played in two years to roll to the left and throw against his yeah, body. Yeah, throw against his body and just had nothing on the ball. Munford facing second down and 10. Two receivers come to the near side. Haney drops back, looking, throwing it for all he's worth to Chapman, who's down there and can't hang on. JoJo Staples in coverage over there. They cannot connect. It is now third down and 10. And JoJo doing a good job tonight, keeping Chapman in his back pocket. But, uh, the coaching staff uh, really harping at DJ Ford, not coming over quick enough, not reading that play and getting over and giving some backside support. Brings up third down and 10. So really Munford abandoning the running game yeah. in this uh, series. Chapman goes to the left. Elston joins him there. Haney facing third down and 10. He'll take it, run the option to the left. Now pitches it back. That's going to be Smith, and he's going to be stopped at about the 26-yard line. He'll be shy of the first down. And it's going to come up about four yards shy in a good pursuit uh, down the line of scrimmage. Peyton Reynolds looked like uh, also number 21. That's Ladarius Zachary. Was there a flag on the side? Can't uh, see it from let's here. Let's see. Seems to be a flag on the play. They're talking to Peyton Reynolds. 
So I believe this one's going to go against the Lions. You would think will. it might have been holding out there. And it was. It is declined, and Munford going to have to punt the football away again. I see it now laying right on the sideline next to the marker, but mm -hmm. I didn't see it when it came out. So punting time for C.J. Chapman. <laughs> JoJo Staples drops back. Staples has had a good ball game tonight, too. The Downs guy is having a real problem tonight. He's showing he first struggling. down. Now. He is struggling. <laughs> His first game of the year. Give him, give him a break. These are things you expect in the early going. Chapman to punt it. Staples standing near midfield. Wow. Good high booming kick. Staples retreats back, going to let it hit. And it will be downed by Haynes of Munford inside the 40 to 39 yard line. First down and 10 for the Volunteers. Good high punt. Chapman that time covered about 41 yards and uh, Central again set up with good field position. They've got to take advantage of these opportunities in these field positions to try to spread this defense and get something going. Uh, really the running game has struggled tonight. Tommy Jalen Lyle's not been able to get on track like we saw last year. Munford really keying on him and uh, shadowing his every move. Lyles is back there, shotgun set. Now they're changing, and they'll go with Burns and the I formation behind him, and they're they, going to have to burn a timeout. Yeah, they ain't got personnel. the right personnel. Someone did not get the memo, so they are going to have to burn a timeout right here with 5-12 remaining in the third period. Yeah, I think it was Quasi Jennings that didn't get in there in that uh, package they had called. I think they wanted to get in the ball in that time, and Quasi on the sideline. Timeout brought to you by Harris Plumbing and Electric. Everything you need from the floor to the ceiling, and uh, they'll save you thousands on new appliances as well. Go by and see them at Harris Plumbing and Electric. Thanks to all of our sponsors for bringing you volunteer football, including Sarah Honda of Silicaga, Southern Pipe and Supply, Upsy Daisy Resale Boutique of Silicaga, and Lionel Health and Rehab. How about that? You're doing a good job, my man. Big time out there. You talk about uh, as far as the Vols, is that their second this period? It is. That's what I was thinking. That's I think it is. I think they got one left. And uh, now first down and 10. Split out is JoJo Staples to the near side. DJ Ford to the far side. They'll go to the eye backfield now. Burns under center, pitches it back to Lyles. Lyles trying to get a gap and does. There he is. Cuts it over there to the side, is. breaks one tackle, two, still there running. There he is. Here he comes. Lyles turning to 45, 40. Cuts it back inside, and he'll step out of bounds inside the 30-yard line and be spun down out of bounds. Great run by Jalen Lyles. And about 27, 28 yards that time, and that's the kind of running we was just talking about we was missing from last year is that hard shake the tackle kind of run, and Lyles got in the secondary that time, and one-on-one, -on -one, he is as hard as anybody in the country to bring down. That is the first time we've seen Lyles able to really get up ahead of steam and uh, make some folks miss, so great run, but great blocking up front as well. Exactly. For the Vols front. High backfield again behind Burns. Split outs are either way. Burns will take it, give it to his fullback up the middle. A little bit of a push there, good run inside the 30. Down to the 27-yard line, that is Marcus Heflin on the carry. Yeah, I like Marcus Heflin lined up back there, Tommy. He's a lot of bulk at 5'10". Uh, looks like about 165 pounds, but built low to the ground, like he like he fullback to be, covers the ball up well and just lowers that shoulder and runs. Second down at about six yards to go, four and a half minutes left in the third period. <coughs> As the uh, ball switching to the I formation on this drive has uh, given them some new life. Third, actually second down. As Ford will go to the far side. I backfield behind Burns. He'll take it, sweep it to Lyles. Lyles gets a block, bounces it outside, stumbles, gets his footing, and will take a first down inside the 20 to the 15-yard line. That's good for a Clay Automotive first down. Tommy, two good things that time. Number one, a good read, good cut inside by Jalen Lyles, but also a good lead block by Marcus Heflin out there on the corner to open that up, spring him for enough for the first down. First down and 10. They'll mark it outside the 15 at about the 16-yard line. And the balls are on the move here with 4.08 remaining in the third period. High backfield again. Two wideouts. Burns up under center. Munford cheating up. They'll give it off to, actually, that's Dark. Dark bounces it outside. He'll dive. 
Good run on first down for Malik Dart. He is quite a runner. Someone we didn't expect coming in, hadn't heard the name a lot, but uh, very shifty coming out of that backfield. I mean, we, we hadn't seen him a whole lot. Five, six, 170 pounds. Looks like he's only sophomore. a sophomore. And uh, one thing you got to learn to do, though, is stay on his feet. He keeps leaving his feet like that. Somebody is going to knock his lights out. Second down and uh, a short five here for the Vols. Burns up under center. Eye backfield behind him. Blitz coming from Munford. He'll give it off. And that's going to be to Dark, he will hurdle to the 10 yard line, shy of the first down, brings up a third and about three. Yeah, gonna now, come up a little bit short. This is where I was told that uh, we may see the Peyton Reynolds package inside the 20. Back in is Lyles, as he will come in. Third down and about three. Knowing this coaching staff, they got something that's working right now. I'm not sure they're willing to tamper with it. They do go back to Burns in the I formation. High backfield back behind him, Munford. They're bringing the house again. They'll pitch it back to Lyles. He's chopped down. Lackey again chops down Jalen Lyles. No gain on the play, and now it's fourth down. I tell you, he comes in there awful quick, Tommy. Nobody got a hand on him, able to take his feet out from under him, and uh, that was a big down. Central really needed to get a touchdown out of this, but you got to think they at least want to come away with some points. Decision time. The play clock has not started. And Heflin comes in. It looks like they may go for it here on fourth down and about five. They've got to hurry. They've got one timeout left for this half and play clock down to 12 seconds. High backfield, back behind Lyles. How about a halfback pass? Lyles, and they're going to call timeout. Timeout is called for. They say that is only the second according to the scoreboard, so we may have okay. mistake, uh, mistaken the heat timeout. So. That takes it down to only one timeout. Nonetheless, I'm not sure that's the not where they wanted to burn one right there. Tried to get that uh, play in a little bit quicker, but just slow getting back to the line of scrimmage, but rather take the timeout than another five-yard penalty. So fourth down, ball in the middle of the field at the about the 11-yard line. Field goal for Isaac Andrews would be about a 28-yarder. Right at it. But you got well within his distance. That would keep it a two-score game, whereas a touchdown makes it a three-score game. Yeah. So uh, looks like Coach Chris Heron. When you're on the road playing a team with this talent, you'd like to have as much cushion as you can get, and I'm sure uh, they're looking at trying to get uh, at least a first down. And if nothing else, get a first down, run three or four more plays, run more time off the clock, keep that offense off the field. Come to the line, and uh, here it is, fourth down. About five to go. Jalen Lyles in the backfield. He's got JoJo Staples coming to the near side. They will go with Burns under center. Lyles, eye formation. Munford again threatening to bring everybody. Burns takes it, rolls out. Looking, looking, looking. Going to throw it down there, incomplete. Mm. Nothing there from the start. Good coverage. You've got to give all the credit in the world to Mumford Secondary. They didn't fall far. They stayed with their receivers. Uh, just nobody open, nowhere to go with the football. Munford stops them on downs. It will be Munford Lion football. First down and 10 at their own 11-yard line. Yeah, the thing about it, the plus side of that is they have their back against their own goal line. But that, that's not going to stop Haney from coming out here and firing it for Chapman if he gets the opportunity. Coach Will Wagman uh, has an open playbook pretty much uh, no matter where he is. And they'll try to get something going offensively. First down and 10 for the Lions. They'll start at their own 11. Players still coming in. Minute 49 left here in the third. Elston slow getting in there. Play He's going to get over and get set. Two receivers go left. Two come to the right. Motion man. That's Haynes. They'll flip it to him. He's going to try the left side. Coverage is over there, and he is going to be hit after a gain of one. JoJo Staples once again with a big stop. And a lot of credit again to Peyton Reynolds for pushing him deep that time, forcing it a little bit deeper and wider than they wanted to go and allowed the defense time to get there. Fundamentally, this defense is excellent. Yeah. I mean, they, are, they are making the plays. They're in the position, and uh, so far, they have really been fundamentally sound here tonight. And what impresses you is the angles that they take. They never, don't say ever seem to take the wrong angle uh, to get somebody out wide. Second and nine, here's Haney back to pass, throws it. 
And the catch is made. That is Chapman. Chapman's got two in his face. Oh, face, face mask, mask, yeah. That's going to be tough. If I can see that from up here, everybody else did. JoJo just grabbed him and uh, got the hand on the face mask, and that's going to be good for a Munford first down. Yeah, just trying to get whatever he could get that time and not let him make a big play, but uh, that's going to cost him. I don't know if it's JoJo or DJ, one of the two, got a hand in it. Big play there for the Lions here with a minute six remaining in the third period. And it will be a first down for Munford. And that's going to move it forward. And they will put this one down as they keep marching forward to the 37-yard line. So from the shadow of the goalpost, Munford in a couple of plays has moved it out. And they've got a first down at the 37-yard line. Shotgun formation, Haney and Smith in the backfield. Three receivers to the near side. Snap, Haney back to pass. Thrown out here. Oh, my coverage. goodness. That is Marcus Heflin on the coverage there. And he jarred that football loose. Great play. Now, that's Ladarius Zachary, well, 21. number okay. 21. Okay. That's the corner over here he was talking about earlier, really seeing his first uh, big game action tonight and stepped up to the plate with a big hit. Second down and 10. Play clock. Just now starting, a minute two remaining in the third period. Two split outs come to the right, two go to the left. There's Haney, shotgun set. Takes it, gives it off to Smith. Smith trying to right up the gut, and he's going to get a couple of yards. That's about it. Good play, DJ Denny, DJ Ford. Also on the play. Yeah, and a guy that really uh, slowed him down in the backfield once again, Peyton Reynolds there to hit him behind the line of scrimmage and wait for help to get there. Third down. And about eight. Ball's defense trying to come up after it looked for a minute like there was going to be a Munford drive here to start off with. Now they're one play away from getting them back off the field. They'll flip it. And here comes Chapman. Chapman trying to get a gap, cuts it up. They hit him, and they'll drive him back. And he will be stopped shy of the first down. I tell you, one thing you notice about Chapman, Tommy, he's real tentative. Mm -hmm. He doesn't come out there and just take on the blockers. He tries to finesse his way around them. And with a discipline technique type bunch of the volunteers, it's just hard to do that. Going to bring up a fourth down. 18 seconds left on the clock. And it's fourth down, and Munford going to choose to punt this one away. Ball's not exactly sold that they will kick it out of there. And it's punting time for the Lions. Chapman back. Another player scampers on for the Lions. JoJo Staples standing at the 30-yard line. Not many punts, but no punt returns by either team tonight. Chapman kicks the air out of it. Staples going to take it, and he will slip down there at about the 23-yard line. And that's where the balls will start first down and 10. Chapman real slow and deliberate getting that punt off. He uh, takes a chance of getting a lineman downfield, but no flags thrown. And Central again set up with fairly decent field position at their own 28-yard line. Special thanks again to Harris Plumbing and Electric, folks. Uh, everything you need from the floor to the ceiling, and uh, you can save thousands on new appliances as well. Go by and see them at Harris Plumbing and Electric. And thanks to all of our sponsors, including Monty Albon, Curly Motor Company of Alex City, State Farm Insurance Agent Mike Coleman, and Abernathy Farm Supply. Ten seconds on the clock here. This may be the final play of the third. Eye backfield behind JT Burns. First down and ten. Burns gives off to Lyles. Lyles is hit immediately, and he will be dropped there. I tell you, they've had Lyles' number for the most part tonight. Everybody uh, really following his every movement. Again, it's uh, number four, four Strickland and number 14 Stevens in there to make the stop. That is the end of the third. When we come back, it's fourth quarter action. Volunteers lead 10 to nothing. This is Vol Football on WAXC-TV. 
Hey, just in time for back to school, there's a big sale at Sarah Nissan Silicaga. Coming right now, folks, is our bottom line sales event. I mean, brand new versus like this, 40 miles per gallon. Check this out, $99 a month. Sarah Nissan Silicaga, you come and see us. Hold on, I thought of one more thing, folks. During the big bottom line sales event, brand spanking new 2015 Nissan Altima is like this. $5,000 off if you like, $199 a month. Make that short drive. Sarah Nissan Silicaga, you come and see us. The best Mexican dining experience around is found at Monte Albon Mexican Restaurant. Real authentic Mexican cuisine and atmosphere awaits you at Monte Albon with great specials on popular dishes such as the new chimichanga with shrimp, only $10.99. Beef or chicken chimichanga specials for only $3.99. Choose from select lunch or dinner combinations. Buy one and get one half off. Want to celebrate your birthday? Get a free drink, meal, and dessert when you dine in. Two convenient locations on the Court Square in Ashland and on Highway 9 in Lionville to serve you. Lionville Health and Rehab represents a wonderful alternative to traditional long-term care and rehabilitation. Lionville Health and Rehab will meet your or your loved one's needs. At our facility, you will not only find a commitment to quality, but also a professional and caring staff. We welcome you to a tour at our facilities anytime. Lionville Health and Rehab, Lionville, Alabama, where our family cares for yours. 256-396-2104. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. Marsha Mason is pleased to announce the new location of Mason Law Firm at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Marsha Mason is your local attorney for bankruptcy and social security disability. Call your hometown attorney, Marsha Mason at 256-329-1313. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. You may know them from high school, from the local grocery store, or even your own neighborhood. These local teens have embarked on a new journey, one that begins at Southern Union State Community College. Visit suscc.edu forward slash journey to see the life's journey these students have planned. We believe that you have an amazing journey ahead of you too, and Southern Union is the perfect place to begin at an affordable price close to home. Southern Union, where the journey begins. How come we're selling brand new 2015s when the other guys are selling leftover 2014s? Because we're the auto giant. They come in right now. 2015 Honda Fit, folks, 41 miles per gallon. Look at this, $97 a month. The all new Sarah Honda, Silicaga. You come and see us. Hey, it's bigger selection, it's better prices. It's the Honda Summer Clearance Event. Coming right now, folks. One example, fun to drive Honda Accords like this, just $139 a month. Come on, that is so low, you can't say no. Sarah Honda, Silicaga. You come and see us. Volunteer football on WXC TV. Our score heading to the fourth. It is 10 to nothing. Volunteers on top. Second down at about nine yards to go. Back to the wishbone. Go the Vols. Two tight end look. JT Burns in there, quarterback. Second and long. He'll take it, fake it, give it on the right side. There's a gap. Trying to bounce it outside is Quasi Jennings. He gets to the 30 and then he's tracked down. Good play out here. You got to give credit to Austin Campbell who brings down Quasi. And that's, that's a job, tackling that uh, speedster in open field, but Campbell, good job. Had he not got him, Quasi certainly had the first down and maybe more. But that also shows you how much they are keying on Jalen mm -hmm. Miles right there. Everybody went with number 16. It is now third down. We'll call it about four. Balls come to the line, two tight end look. Wishbone set once again behind Burns. Gets them set, balls. Trying to keep the ball away from the Munford offense. Hand off right side. Dark strambles. He's got, got it. it. He spins to the 35-yard line. That is good for a first down. Good hard running and good lead block into the hole that time. Looked like number 37. And uh, that's Isaac Andrews out there with a block on the corner and uh, a good lead block from the fullback. First down and 10. That's good for a Clay Automotive first down. Don't forget, uh, you can come see the new Clay Way where cars are cheaper in the country. Another first down right here on this drive. It's brought to you by Clay County Automotive. First down and 10 at the 35. Wishbone set again behind Burns. Two tight end look. This time, they'll go to Lyles, trying to bounce it outside. Cuts it, makes a man miss. 
Jockey in across the move run by Lyles. Down the far sideline, and Jalen Lyles will step out of bounds across the way at the 43. Tommy, a big move out there around the 45-yard line. Just put a stutter step on Cameron Turner and picked up another 10 or 12 yards after he left him there. Big run, Jalen Lyles around the corner. First down and 10. They'll mark it at about the 48-yard line, and a timeout on the field. Looks like a player down across Muffer the play. way for the Munford Lions. So they will check on him. He is on the Central Vol sideline. Just a couple of plays uh, for either side really tonight that gained over 10 yards. Every, everything's pretty much been a cloud, you know, three yards in a cloud of dust. And these defensive, have, defensive hits, defenses, I can't even get it out, have really stood tall and played their ground. They really have. They have been tough against the run and have had a great night. Uh, again, 10 to nothing our score. And that kind of lets you know that uh, not a lot of offense uh, for that Munford team, but uh, again, Central only a couple of big plays in the ball game, but these two defenses have really put in the night. They should all rest well tonight. And I, you, you can see both coaches, their game plan coming in here was predicated solely on their defenses, stopping the other one and, and get the offense being able to take advantage of what uh, they could get. But the defense on both sides of this, uh, the field has really played well. Player across the way from Munford, able to, is that Chapman? Uh, yes, I believe it is. I it no, I think eight. it's number eight. Okay. I think that's Turner. All right, Cameron Turner, as he will come this way. I believe that's gonna be cramps, you can tell there. Yeah. And uh, as we mentioned in the opening, quite a humid night uh, for us, and we're not out there. I'm about to get one just standing here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not out there in pads and running up and down the field. and. We are warm up here tonight. It has been a hot one. And he's going to check out over here across the way. First down and 10 for the Volunteers after the big run by Jalen Lyles. Wishbone set behind JT Burns. Two tight end look. Handoff faked. Now back to Oh, pass there he is. There he is. He's got JoJo Staples. Oh, my goodness. Cannot hit him. He had Staples all alone at the 10 yard line and just missed him. Overthrew him and it was a little bit late throwing that ball. Staples cleared the linebackers and really the safety was a step or two late and coming over. He was wide open there for a minute, but Burns just not able to put the ball in his hands. Great call that time, had the play. I like that, don't you? Just could not connect. Second down and 10. Back to the wishbone, go the balls. Two tight end look. Munford threatening the blitz. And they come to the right side on the carries dark, and he's going to be pulled down. That's Robertson. We'll haul him down there. Third down, down about nine yards. Yeah, big number 79 up front, number 78, Seth Thompson in there uh, to make the tackle. Third down and nine. Clock rolling now with 10-21 remaining. Big conversion down coming up right here. You know, if nothing else, they'd like to keep this drive going and keep the clock running, but they look would love to get this nine yards and move the chains. Davin Flournord in the game. JoJo Staples goes to the far side. JT Burns will now be in slot to the far side. Logan Cooper to the near side. This is Lyles, and a flag comes in from the near side. Yeah, I'm not sure if somebody didn't maybe line up offsides on the near side, but uh, a little pump fake that time, and Jalen takes off up the middle. It's going to be motion. Illegal procedure against the Volunteers. They will decline and bring up fourth down. And I'm not sure they will decline right here. You know, they may feel like Central's going to go for it. Where's I don't know. Now, Wagner's yeah. telling them to decline the penalty, <coughs> and the officials are discussing it. They want fourth down and the football back. 9.49 left to play. They're saying it's a dead ball penalty. Hmm. Is that right? I don't know how it would be. They're not giving them the option. No. They're going to move it back and bring up third down again. That might be a break for the Volunteers. So they will get another down. 
That is a huge break, yeah. actually. Give them another chance to pick up this first down and run a few more seconds off the clock. So third down and 12 for the Vols. Let's see how this changes the event. Cooper, Flanord to the near side, JT Burns, JoJo Staples to the far side. Here's Burns in motion now to the near side. Oh. And another flag. Yeah. Somebody up front moved and low snap too. So, uh, you know, Dawson's had a couple of them tonight. He got to get that ball up and get it in the hand of uh, Lyle so he doesn't have to bend over there and pick it up. Moves it back now. So third down, about 17 it would appear. Long way to go here. Yeah, I think it's central right now. Probably either they are going to throw it deep or just try to pick up what they can uh, running the football and then try to punt it away. Well, Nord to the far side along with Cooper. Here's Staples and Burns now to the near side. Quasi Jennings alongside Jalen Lyles. Third and long, low snap, goes down and gets it. Going to just throw it for all he's worth. JoJo Staples jockeying for position. And it's going to be well out of bounds. A lot of contact down the sideline, but uh, no flags thrown, the ball thrown uh, where nobody was going to catch it that time. So Central going to have to call Isaac Andrews in here to get another big punt. Andrews to punt it away. He'll try to once again keep the ball away from Chapman. Andrews has had a good night punting the football. He has basically kept them uh, from returning any kicks tonight. So no return yardage. See how big this one is right here. Good snap back there. He bobbles it, gets it out of there, and nice job by yeah. Andrews. Gets it out of there, and what a what kick. A oh, my goodness. Inside the uh, almost 15-yard line. That's the way you keep wow. your head about you. That is quick thinking and quick foot on that young man to get it out of there without it being blocked. Really didn't get much uh, able to step through or anything, but what a great kick. He has been huge tonight, Jeff. Those old rugby-style kicks, once it hits, it's going to take a roll, and it took a volunteer roll that time. Back inside uh, the 15-yard line, marked it about the 14. He's kept them backed up tonight. That's been big. Two split outs come to the near side. I'm not sure how many punts. We've not been able to count that, but he's had a great average and making a play for that young drugstore player of the game. Haney, shotgun, trips come to the near side. As they will shift, will the Vols defense, and they give it off to Smith. He lowers a shoulder and gets a couple, and that's about it. I tell you, Mumford really seeming a little conservative right now. Time's running out on them as it gets under the nine-minute mark, and trailing by 10 points, they're still trying to plug it between the tackles, but they've got to try to get the ball to not only Chapman, but maybe Elson or some of their other speedsters out here on the corners. Haney with the shotgun set. you got to think the bubble screen is coming up. Trips to the near side. Haney. He'll take it. Goes back to Smith on the right side. Smith gains a couple of yards, but he's tracked down there. Brings up a third down. Tommy, not a bad call. They go to the weak side. They really load it up. The left side, they go back to the right. Uh, only had a couple of guys out there, but volunteers there to make the tackle. Third down and a long one. You got to expect Haney to get the call here. He'll give it up no. to Smith, and I don't know. He slid, Tristan slid down. Taylor, yeah. along with Colby Robinson on the stop, and it's going to bring up fourth down. I mean, I think he's going to actually lose a yard on that carry and bring up fourth down in a long one, maybe a short two yards. Will Wagner says we're going to have to go for it. I think he's got to call a timeout. He will think about it over here on the near side. Fourth down in a yard. Lions say they're going to go for it. They do. Steps back, throws it down the middle, and it's going to be caught by Chapman. He's got the first down. Just barely. Once again, once he tries to turn, his feet goes out from under him, but he makes the catch, gets about four yards, and that's enough to move the chains and keep this drive going. you got to say that's a gutsy call. Yeah, it uh, is. Wagner's not completed a lot of passes tonight. Just a bubble screen out here to Chapman, able to rattle the chains. 
But the Vol defense has come up big all night, and they'll they'll give that one. Now it's time to get a new set of downs and come back with a stop here. Haney, same screen play. This time Haynes catches it, breaks one tackle, oh. and he is drilled. That's D.J. Ford on the hit. Peyton Reynolds had him low, and Ford come from that safety position. Didn't mind dropping that shoulder that time and really put it into Chris Haynes. Clock rolling, 6.52 remaining in the ballgame. 10 to nothing, our score. You see it on the screen there. Volunteers up. Haney, quarterback keeper to the right side, cuts it up, and he's dropped. Good play over here from the near side, chasing him down. That's going to be Tim Henry. Yeah, and backside pursuit has been tremendous for the Volunteers all night long. They never give up and uh, keeps pursuing the play and making the tackle. Now we're looking at third down and a couple. Haney's got it. Bubble screen out here to Chapman. Can't hang on. A little bit high, goes through the hands, and it brings up fourth down. And again, I think that's another case where Chapman was looking to run before he brought the ball down, had Lyles uh, within a couple of steps of him, but really had uh, Chapman been able to catch that and get past Lyles, that could be a big play. It is fourth down, another yard. Last time they went to Chapman on the screen. He's got man-to-man -man coverage from Jalen Lyles out here. No backside help here. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Haney gives it off to Smith. Smith being tracked from behind, cuts the corner, and he's got a first down for his belt. That's a big DJ. hit by D.J. Ford, but another first down for the Munford Lions. D.J. Ford proving to this coaching staff he's not afraid to come up here and be a physical safety. Drops that shoulder, but not, after, not before Haynes gets the first down. First down at the 46-yard line. Game clock at 6.08. Back is Haney, quick screen, caught by Chapman. Chapman tries to spin away and does. Comes to the near side and he's gonna be driven down. Once again, as DJ Ford on the hit, brings Chapman down. Hey, Chapman wasting a lot of time just dancing out here, uh, running north and south. I'm not sure anybody can stay with him, but just a little bit too fancy in his footwork. Yeah, a lot of high stepping and uh, not really going north and south. Heat timeout, we're gonna take the break. 10 to nothing, Volunteers lead. We've got 5.55 left in the ballgame. This is Vols Football on WAXC TV. We're selling all brand new cars below invoice. That's right. You buy a new car from us, it's below invoice. We have interest rates that are below those credit union interest rates. We even have 0% on new vehicles. And on our pre-owned selection, we have the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles that we've ever had here at Clay Automotive. So you come pick you one out, you'll love it. And come experience the new Clayway. Miss Kitty's Country Kitchen in Hackneyville is serving up some good old-fashioned cooking. From their famous fried catfish to delicious chicken fingers, pork chops, hamburger steaks, and even prime cut steaks, as well as sandwiches. Don't forget about their daily lunch specials for that quick, good down-home lunch every Tuesday through Friday. Miss Kitty's Country Kitchen makes it so good, you'll think mama's in the kitchen. So load up the family and go see Miss Kitty and Tommy for the best food at affordable prices in Hackneyville. Call 256-329-3111. Open Tuesday through Saturday from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. First State Bank is a community-owned bank established in 1971 with a mission to be the bank for all people in the area with a primary focus on good old-fashioned customer service. First State Bank has convenient branches located in Lineville, Ashland, and Widawi. Since its founding, First State Bank has continued to grow and keep up with the banking industry changes in technology to give its customers the best service available, such as Internet and mobile banking. First State Bank, here to make dreams come true for people just like you. Why pay more for name brand children's, boys, juniors, and Mrs. Clothing when you can save big at Upsy Daisy Resale Boutique in Sylacauga? A great selection of names like Polo, Abercrombie, Mud Pie, and more. Upsy Daisy has maternity clothing for expecting mothers and accessories like bedding, strollers, and car seats. And they're all at affordable prices. And if you're cleaning out your closets, Upsy Daisy will even buy, consign, or offer store credit for trade-ins. See TJ, Cindy, and the rest of the staff at Upsy Daisy Resale Boutique. Boutique in Silicaga. 
Harris Plumbing and Electric, just off the Ashland Square, has everything you need from the floor to the ceiling. Any project, big or small, looking to upgrade those dinosaur appliances, they have a huge warehouse of scratch and dent GE appliances that will save you thousands. You'll even have to look real hard for the scratches, and they come with factory warranties. You owe it to yourself to shop Harris Plumbing and Electric, where your dream kitchens become reality. Located just off the Ashland Square, give them a call today at 256 256- 354-5600. Harris Plumbing and Electric is a proud supporter of high school athletics. For over 70 years, Curly Motor Company has been serving the Lake Martin area with superior service. Curly Motor Company has quality pre-owned vehicles with down payments as low as $1,000 and flexible payment plans to fit any budget. Most vehicles come with warranties that Curly stands behind and they even service customer vehicles. View all of Curly's inventory online at www.curlymotor.com. Curly Motor Company not only sells pre-owned vehicles but offers much more such as rental cars, headliner repair, and can help you with lost car titles and title work. When you buy a car from Curly Motor Company, you're not just buying a car, you're buying our name. 5.55, left to play. 10 and nothing, Volunteers on top. Mumford on the drive with a football at the Volunteer 41. First down and 10. Haney takes it, steps back. Throws the floater, caught by Elston, and he's driven out of bounds. Hey, Marcus Hamlin got caught with his back turned. I'm sorry, that's uh, Drummond, number 21, Zachary. Caught with his back turned that time. Couldn't find the football. Get a big completion right over his head. Back shoulder throw connects with Elston. Now Munford has it. First down and 10 at the Volunteer 25-yard line. We talked about a rhythm. The Lions offense now getting into rhythm. Here's Haney. Right side, tries to cut it back inside, got some running room, spin, and he's going to go down there. Peyton Reynolds brings him down at the 20, maybe the 19, gain of about six. There's that vision again from Haney. Looked like there's nothing out there. He saw that little crease, turned it upfield, and picks up six yards. But uh, you're talking about uh, getting that first down a while ago. Not only that, but they got all the momentum going way in their way right now. Lions still with all three timeouts. we got 5-14 left in the contest. Haney takes it, drops back, throws the floater down there for Chapman, who's there, and he catches it. Interference. They'll say interference. He did yeah. not catch the ball. No. So it's going to be interference, though, against JoJo Staples. Yeah, they're going to get JoJo uh, hands all over him that time. Really, the only chance he had to prevent a touchdown catch. He's able to shake the ball loose, but it is interference yeah. against the Volunteers. <laughs> Momentum has really... Taking a turn here. Balls need to come up with a big play. Yeah, and Mumford right now not afraid to keep going back to the well to their uh, number one guy. They keep looking to Chapman and expecting him to come up with a big play. We expected it all night. Yeah. It seems to have waited until the fourth quarter to start trying to get the ball to number six. They will move it forward. And they are going to mark the football. They've just now gotten on the field, but they left the other one down there near the end zone. Just inside the 10-yard line at the 9. It is first down and goal. They send three receivers to the far side. Elston in at quarterback, along with Smith. Elston keeps it left side, cuts it back. He's hit once, twice, and he stopped for no game. Good job of plugging up front. Looked like uh, might have been that time on the left side. Could have been Trey, Ro- uh, I'm sorry, uh, Lane Browning, DJ Denny, and I think it's number 58. It is Lane Browning. Uh, I'm Robinson sorry, Kobe Robinson, Robinson, Robinson yeah. gets up off the bottom. They've been tough against the run. The passing have. yardage uh, has picked up from Munford here in the last stages of the game. <coughs> now you go back. To Haney at quarterback, shotgun set. He'll drop back to the right, looking back across the grain, throws it for Chapman, who's wide open. And that's something you're not seeing tonight is that deep crossing route. He got in behind everybody that time. The safety's on the far side of the field. JoJo couldn't stay with him, and they complete it for six. 10 to six, the score, 421. Left in the ball game. Lions are on the board. Good job, Haney, standing back there, being patient and waiting for that to open up. 
waiting for uh, Johnson to clear that secondary and get open, or Chapman rather. Thomas on for the extra point. Trying to make it a 10-7 game. Big importance. It is. Extra point here. This guy's got a leg on him. And he gets it up, and it's good. 10 to 7 on score. 421 left in this ball game. And Mumford with all the momentum. Very methodical drive that time. Volunteers helped him with a couple of crucial penalties, but a lot of credit to uh, Haney for stand, being patient, also picking his running lanes, picking up the yardage when they had to, but on that last pass, just a lot of patience, a lot of poise to stand back there and wait on it to develop. Jeff, let's flash back 12 months. Trinity Presbyterian down in Montgomery. Central taking on Trinity. It got late in the game. Trinity making a push, and all of a sudden, the Vols find a way to start grinding out first downs and never give the football back. Really, late in that ball game is the night we saw what Jalen Lyles was made of. He stepped up his game, really carried that game and made some big runs late, and the defense made a couple of big stops. So they've got to do that here tonight. They're on the road there like they were that night here in Mumford, and right now Mumford's got all the momentum. They will kick it off from right to left. Ball's going to go with a sure hands team up front. And the only one back deep is Dark. I think right now it's a little bit early. Knowing uh, Central has very little passing game, they're going to have to keep it on the ground. So uh, you take a little bit early to go for their own sides, but not anything's not out of the question. Thomas to kick it off for the Lions. Now they'll shift back and send Lyles back deep as well. He goes with a short kick and High pooch kick. Lyles lets hit, and then he'll pick it up and take off running the far side. Lyles trying to get a gap and does, and he'll bring it out to the 32-yard line. Boy, it makes your heart stop when they just run up there and let it bounce on the kickoff like that, but fortunately it came right to him, and he gets it out across the 30, and Central set up right there. Here's where we are. 4.15 left in the ball game. Volunteers holding on to a 10-7 lead. As the balls take over, first down and 10. Back to Lyles with a spread formation. Two receivers left. One comes to the right. That's JT Burns. Nobody is out here on him. They will give it off to Staples. Staples cuts it inside. Can't get the block, and he's going down. Okay, a little bit of a gap there for just a minute, but credit to Keo Hall, number 45, the outside linebacker, blow it in there and making the tackle. Clock rolling under four minutes now. Volunteers face a second down and about 11. If you're Mofford right now, Tommy, I think you gamble. You leave your guys out here on the island by themselves. You put everybody in the box and dare them to run it on you. One first down would be huge for this volunteer offense. DJ Ford comes to the near side. JoJo Staples joins him here. JT Burns goes to the far side as Lyles goes to the shotgun. He will send... Staples in motion, fake it, and then Lyles keeps it. He's hit and goes down. Nothing there. Number 14 again, Austin Stevens. And again, we talked about this linebacking core all night. Right now, they're stepping up and taking over this game. And we'll call a timeout here. Will Coach Will Wagner stops the clock with 322 remaining. Munford trying to pull a huge comeback against the Central Volunteer. Third down. About 11 yards to go. You can honestly say this third down play coming up is the biggest play of the ball game. They've yeah. got to convert. Uh, you can't keep depending on Isaac Andrews, his uh, leg back there. You know, you have to kick it from about the uh, maybe the 18, 19 yard line if that far. Uh, asking him to pin them deep is going to be out of the question. They're going to get good field position. And right now with the momentum they got and the flow they have in their offense, you just don't want them back on the field. Yeah, you, you really don't. you got to figure out some way. And, and how do you pull out an 11-yard gain? There have not been many of those all night long. And there's not been on either side of the ball, but uh, they've got to figure out something. They've got to get the ball to somebody that can get in space. And, and getting outside the box on these linebackers, that's just about been impossible tonight. Yeah, these linebacking core, they have really stepped it up, especially in the late going. And I hope you can still hear us because this place is going nuts over here on the Munford side. It is third down. 
And 11 yards to go. In motion is JT Burns. Back to pass and flag on the play. And it's almost incomplete. Yeah, almost intercepted, rather. I think they're going to have that. It's going to be against the Volunteers. I think they had a man in motion uh, that time on the near side and probably going to wind up being fourth down. Again, running down the scoring for the Volunteers. 8 16 left in the first 23 yard field goal from Andrews. Made it 3 0. Then 6 05 left in the first 13 yard touchdown run for Dark. Extra point made it 10 0. The illegal procedure. And it is declined. Volunteer is going to have to punt the football away. Yeah, and they, they threw the ball. That stopped the clock in itself. So that really done Mumford a favor that time putting the ball in the air. Mumford trying to come up big in the fourth and pull off the upset. They're down by three with 318 remaining. Andrews on to punt the football away. They call on him again to come up with a big kick. He's ready back there. Good snap back there to him. Great kick. Takes him back. Turner's got it. Blocking the back. Didn't call Didn't it. Didn't get that call. And good play bringing him down back in the backfield. But again, a good stop by Kendrick Turman. But good field position now for Munford. Yeah, Turner came up and fielded that ball in the air and probably saved him another 10 or 15 yards. Great field position. Uh, this could be a game-winning drive. They started their own 38-7 yard line. Ball defense has to come up big here. Two timeouts remaining for Munford with three minutes, 10 seconds left. You talk about being gassed. This ball defense has got to be tired. They've been on the field an awful lot here in this second half. First down and 10. Shotgun for Haney. Got Chapman and Smith to the near side. Motion man comes. Haney's got it, fakes it, drops back. Looking down the middle, got pressure, and they're bringing him down. Yeah. Big play by Lane Browning, Colby Robinson, and Tristan Taylor back at the 30. Yeah, Taylor and Robinson got him low, and uh, the other guy got him high that time. A big sack drops him back about seven yards. Big play by the Vol defense. Great play by Robinson, Browning, and Tristan Taylor. Perfect time to get some pressure. Second down. About 15. Game clock now rolling with 2.40. We'll keep you updated on that. Three wide outs. Go to the right. Haney. He's got Smith back there with him. Takes it. Drops back. Looking. Throws the bubble screen. They're out there on him. Tyler Smith's got him. Loses the yep. ball. Fumble, Fumble on the play. A scramble for it. I believe the Vols got it. I believe the Vols pounced on it. Let's see. And they Vols got it. With it. Volunteers recover the ball. They do. Tyler that, Smith. That big young man I talked about earlier comes in, wrestles him down, strips the ball out of uh, Chapman. Chapman's hands that time, puts it on the ground. Volunteers with a huge turnover. Take over with 2.18 remaining in the ball game. They lead 10 to 7. Volunteers have it at the 31 yard line. Now is when you go to your wishbone and grind it out. That's right. Just try to get one first down. I believe uh, Mufford probably got, I think maybe two timeouts left, but uh, you know, we're looking clock now down two minutes and 18 seconds. Stay tuned, the Southern Union Community College post game show comes up in about two minutes and 18 seconds. Wishbone set. Back behind Burns, it is first down. He'll give it on the left side. That's Lyles, Lyles is hit. And he'll go down for a gain of a yard. I'm going to tell you what, moving up in classification to 5A, the defensive get any more aggressive and any uh, more well played than this one tonight. It's yeah. going to be a long season. Yeah, I, I tell you Mumford what, they, got a great defense. Mumford has a great team, and they, they have really developed a great program here. And you can tell defensively, this core of linebackers, I tell you, this will be fun to watch every Friday night because yeah. they get after it. You know, a, a defense like that is always going to keep you in the ball game. Two timeouts remaining for the Munford Lions. Didn't use one there. Game clock now rolling with a minute 38. They'll waste the time till they can have to take the snap. They'll do it, give it on the right side. Quasi Jennings is drilled when he gets to the 25 yard line, but good tough running by Quasi. Gets it and just a flag inside. on the play yeah. once again. And that's thrown where it may be holding. Timeout called for by Munford. Thrown right in the interior of the line.
Again, the Southern Union Community College post-game show coming up. Begin here, go anywhere. And we'll also be naming our Young's Drugstore player of the game. Of course, Young's Drugs serving Clay and surrounding counties for over 50 years, do a great job. And Eric Smith and the gang there, just an awesome group. And we appreciate their support of Vol football. Trying to see what they're calling. They're talking, it's definitely against the volunteers, but uh, giving Coach Wagner his options over here on the near sideline. But still, I think it's going to be a hold against Clay Central. They will assess that. I'll tell you what, we talked about coming down here, Munford, plenty of weapons oh. on that football field. Well, they do. They, uh, again, they're, they've built their program around this defense this year, and they've stood up to the test tonight. A uh, minute 29 remaining. Moves it back and makes it second down and 16. And they start the clock running. But you get the down over, which allows you to burn some more clock. And I may be wrong. Mufford apparently may not have but the one timeout left. They're showing two on the board. As they will come to the line, it's second down at about 16. Burns will take it and give it off right side. Quasi Jennings with a running room to the 25, goes Quasi, and they'll move the pile forward. Who's the late push there? I tell you. Is that Isaac Andrews? I think it was. Came up from the back Great side. Great play. Yeah. Just kept that pile going. 145 pounds. Quasi Jennings that time carried about three defenders with him. Timeout called for by Munford with 58 seconds left on the clock. What a game. We talked about it pregame. First thing we said was how awesome it had been to see this series the last two years. Tonight's game, no exception, Jeff. These two programs are really quality. And talking to Coach Heron during the offseason when they were trying to set up their schedule, he was hoping that they would be able to keep this. This series and the Hanley series at the end of the season were two that they really wanted to keep. Uh, they both draw good crowds. They both got great support. And those are a couple of things they wanted to keep. And one thing about the crowds, well, there will be a large one next Friday night oh, at yeah. Volunteer Stadium. Benjamin Russell coming to town as Coach Danny Horn returns to Clay County. Be his first showing back in Clay County since going to Benjamin Russell. And, uh, of course, Danny with a lot of history there. Going to be a crowd. I'd urge anybody who wants to get a seat, get there early. You better get there early next uh, Friday. And also we'll mention that uh, Jeff and I, and we're going to try to be there a little early. There's a great tailgate show. Kalijah Country is going to have tailgate. And, uh, is it going to uh, be food? Probably food. <laughs> They'll probably find you something there. But we invite you to come on by and have a chat with us as we get ready for the ball game next Friday. It is third down. About a yard and a half. First down right here would be huge. Unbalanced line to the left side. They'll go to the left. There's Jalen Lyles. Lyles breaks through a hole, and he's got the first down. And that right there can pretty much solidify the ball game for you. Regardless, they were in a four-down situation. They were not going to try to kick a field goal from the, that position. But Lyles with the first down takes that out of everybody's mind, and that's going to, uh, I think, force Mumford to use one more timeout maybe. They will take the timeout right here. Again, we thank all of our sponsors tonight uh, for bringing you Volunteer Football and WAXC TV. We appreciate them so much, and uh, that includes Sarah Nissan of Silicaga, Bamaware, Miss Kitty's Country Kitchen, Attorney Marsha Mason, and Chainsaw Sales and Service. We appreciate them. Don't forget Southern Union postgame show coming up in just a few moments. We'll have that for you. And you talk about having to name a, a player of the game. That's going to be hard. You know, you got a lot of guys out here actually getting their, really their first starts of their career. They may be a junior or senior, but uh, they played backup roles over the years, and some of them have really stepped up their game and played well. 52 seconds on the clock, and you knew this was going to be a tough battle when you come over here to Munford, and uh, this has proven to be definitely a tough matchup here tonight. But the Vols... 52 seconds away from leaving here. 1-0 on the young season. They held on to the football. They've got to snap it about two more times. First down and 10. <laughs> and they move Jalen Lyles back to the 40-yard line, go to the victory formation. No more timeouts for Munford. And based on how quick the play clock gets snapped, it may just take this one last time. As Burns up under center. He'll take it and go down. Game clock will begin. 
Going to run down under 40 seconds. So you want my stuff taken down here? We'll take down the graffiti off the walls. <laughs> Got to have something. That's right. They're going to let this one. All right. They will have to snap it one more time. Yeah, they've just started to play clock as it gets down under 18. Balls come to the line and one snap away from an opening season opening win here on the road, 10 to 7. Again, a great matchup. Flags come in. Movement on the interior. Yeah, and they might get uh, Mufford with a the flag there, and then nothing else is just going to stop the clock for a minute. That will stop it. You know, it, just like we said last year with Trinity opening up the season, <clears throat> good test, good yeah, way okay. to open your season. Find out what your ball team's made out of. Uh, have somebody push you to the limits, make you play four quarters early on, and it's going to be a benefit to both the Lions and the Volunteers down the road. Yeah, I think so. I, I think both of these teams definitely benefit from this series. They benefit from this game here tonight for sure. And, again, great effort on both teams. And, you know, Again, we're getting some penalties here in the fourth quarter. Kids are getting tired and things like that. But a well-played game, again, from the perspective of not a penalty every time you look up. And so they have done a great job here with these coaches getting these teams ready to play in opening, uh, opening season. We'll take this time out, folks. It's time for the Southern Union Community College postgame show. Final score, 10-7. It's the Central Volunteers with a win tonight. We'll be back in just a moment for this, the uh, Southern Union Community College postgame show on WAXC-TV. Looking for a reliable mid to late model vehicle at an affordable price? Hallman Automotive of Lionville can help you with several lending options to get you the best rates and with low payments on cars, trucks, and SUVs. Credit problems? No worries. Hallman can get you financed. Hallman also has Graceland Portable Buildings and many options with financing available and no credit check. Need work done? Count on Hallman Automotive and Transmission. Certified ASC technicians with 25 years experience in business. Alignments, brakes, transmissions, tires, and much more. Count on Hallman Automotive for all your auto needs. A hometown business with hometown people you can deal with. At Camnus Direct, we strive to provide top quality products along with professional and courteous service. As a family owned and operated company, we have over 40 years of combined experience in cabinetry sales and installation. We offer a wide range of cabinetry with fully customizable options. We also use only locally made products, keeping our money in our community. For more information, give us a call or visit our showroom. Cabinets Direct. There's more than one way to get professional lawn care. Do it yourself like this homeowner with whatever this is. Pros use reliable, powerful, Gravely equipment. This homeowner gets by with something else. Gravely delivers the high performance and quality professionals stake their reputation on. Gravely outpowers, outlasts, outperforms. Get what the pros use. Get Gravely lawn equipment and more at Abernathy Farm Supply in Alexander City. Lake Martin Vein and Laser Center specializes in all things vein and laser oriented. Our physicians treat varicose veins and spider veins. We also utilize laser technology for things such as hair removal, tattoo removal, laser skin tightening, and laser facial peels. Wouldn't you like to see those unsightly varicose veins or spider veins disappear? Remove that dark, unwanted hair or eliminate fine lines and wrinkles. Most procedures are done in 15-minute sessions. Visit our website at lakemartinvein.com or call our office today at 256 215 one two ninety three hundred. Telepiece of Ford on Highway 280 in Alex City has delivered new Fords for 35 years. Need fuel efficiency with style? See the best selection of 13 Ford Fusions delivering 38 MPG in a new stylish package. Check out the Hybrid C Max crossover now on the lot, offering roomy comfort with an amazing 47 MPG rating highway and city. Hello, this is Jeff Smith with Telepiece Ford. I'd like to welcome you to our dealership and experience our low pressure sales. With non-commissioned salespeople, our sales force is here to serve you. Visit Telepiece Ford Highway 280 Alex City. If we don't have it, we'll get it guaranteed. In a world that's ever-changing, you have to be sure that your choices are the right choices. At Central Alabama Community College, you'll know you made the best choice. We understand that you need the best educational opportunities. Whether choosing a technical degree program, taking courses to transfer to a four-year college or university, or being a part of our national championship winning traditions, Central Alabama will provide you with courses and degree programs in tune with today's workplace. Get a sharper focus on your life by choosing one of our three convenient locations, Alex City, Childersburg, and Talladega. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success.
And welcome back to the Southern Union Community College Post Game Show. Tommy Wood along with Jeff Coburn. Final score tonight, 10-7. to It's the Volunteers getting a three-point win over a tough Munford squad. And, Jeff, if you're Coach Chris Heron, you've got to be pleased because you played a very good football team here tonight. You've got to get that win. You did, and he, he's going to be pleased with the overall play of his football squad, the way they prepared, the way they came in and executed. You know, very few penalties. Very few times they turn the ball over. Good, clean uh, communication between his quarterback and his center. Uh, those are the things you look for early on. People jumping off sides, not having the count down. But uh, all in all, both sides played a good, clean ball game for the first game of the year. And uh, Herod and his staff's got to go home tonight, work on trying to get some kind, something solved in this offense to get something that they can depend on. I saw several guys that could run the football tonight. I thought Malik Dark ran the ball well. Right. Joe Staples ran it well. Of course, Jalen Miles. Uh, defenses are going to key on him all year. You've got to find some other weapons. Quasi Jennings, uh, they're expecting big things this year out of him as well. Yeah, I think Quasi's going to be a big factor in that. Marcus uh, uh, Heflin as well out of that fullback position. You talk about Dark, real surprise tonight. Ran the ball good. Got to learn to stay on his feet. But uh, all in all, I think it was a tremendous effort. Uh, the defense, we talked about it coming in here. That's what this football team was built around. They stood up. They kept their team in a position to win this ball game. We're going to take one more time out. When we come back, we'll name our Young's Drugstore Player of the Game. Again, the Vols win 10-7 to tonight over the Munford Lions. Back in just a moment on WAXC-TV. Young's Drug Store has proudly served the citizens of Lineville and the surrounding areas for more than 50 years, providing fast, friendly service. At Young's Drug Store, you're more than just a number, which is why we strive to always greet you with a warm hello and friendly smile. Young's Drug Store offers a convenient drive through window, prescription compounding, vaccination services, and after-hours emergency availability to better serve you. Young's Drug Store now even has the convenience of viewing and refilling your prescriptions online at youngsdrugstorellc.com. Young's Drug Store, located on Highway 9 in Lineville, 256-396-5. Five, six, three, two. For top quality sales and top quality service to back it up, look no further than Chainsaw Sales and Service on Highway 9 in Goodwater. Get the best names in chainsaws, trimmers, and mowers. Steel. A leading brand in chainsaws and lawn equipment. Hustler. The top selling zero turn lawnmower. At Chainsaw Sales and Service, you not only get the best product available, you can count on Jackie and his staff to provide the best service around for all your small engine needs from parts to service. Contact Chainsaw Sales and Service at 256-839-6600. What a great tradition, serving Clay, Tallapoosa, and surrounding counties for decades. Not just a great store for plumbing supplies and service, but a showroom and salespeople to help you with decisions on brand name Delta faucets and custom shower system. Make sure you pick up the heavy-duty and well-insulated K2 Coolers, Southern Pipe and Supplies, located on Dadeville Road in Alexander City. Call 256-234-4235. Depot Computer, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City, is now selling and servicing cell phones, iPads, and tablets. Depot Computer also sells and services computers, laptop, and desktop, accessories, virus protection. Get them cleaned up now. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Depot Computer, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City. Are you sure we should take this billboard down? People find out State Farm does car loans as well as they do insurance. Our bank is through. Good point. Grab an edge. Look, there's two guys on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. No, for real, there's two dudes on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Gentlemen, please get down from the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Bill, get the hose. Okay, he's getting the hose. All right, let's go. Want to borrow better? Contact State Farm agent Mike Coleman about a car loan that can save you hundreds may know them from high school, from the local grocery store, or even your own neighborhood. These local teens have embarked on a new journey, one that begins at Southern Union State Community College. Visit suscc.edu forward slash journey to see the life's journey these students have planned. We believe that you have an amazing journey ahead of you too, and Southern Union is the perfect place to begin at an affordable price close to home. Southern Union, where the journey begins. Welcome back, Southern Union Community College Post Game Show. Tommy Wood and Jeff Coburn as we've wrapped up a 10-7 volunteer win, and they open up the season 1-0 tonight uh, over the Munford Lions. And, Jeff, you, you talk about this ball game and so many big players stepping up, and we want to name our player of the game brought to you by Young's Drugstore. And I think that uh, so many guys contributed to this win, but one guy to me that really stood out, 
was Isaac Andrews. He kicks the field goal early in the game. He adds an extra point later. Didn't know he was really going to punt earlier this week, but man, what a night punting the football. Not often a special teams player gets that kind of recognition, but he played a big factor tonight. Like you say, first game he's punted in. He had the 43-yarder that really flipped the field position. He had two inside the 15-yard line, including that one uh, late in the fourth period that was almost blocked that he just tremendous effort to get it off. And a couple more punts. He was caught on a lot tonight, really worked uh, yeoman's duty, but he came up big, and I think I Isaac deserves the recognition. And the big thing about it, uh, not a lot of return yardage against his punts. Everything hung high. And, and again, with the athletes Munford had, you really needed that. So again, congratulations to Isaac Andrews, our Young's Drugstore player of the game. Jeff, next week it's a big one at Volunteer Stadium. Benjamin Russell comes to town. A lot of you folks uh, keep up with the Wildcats as well as we do. And uh, again, we've been looking forward to this game since we heard it was going to be played. And Tommy, you go back and look since the uh, Central High School uh, was consolidated two years ago. They've talked about getting Benjamin Russell on the schedule. Things worked out the way the class reclassification uh, worked out this year. They both had an open date. They worked it out. They knew that it would be good for both the communities and both the programs. Danny Horn willing to come up here this year, play at home. We'll go down there next year. But just a, uh, an exciting evening. Everybody looking forward to that uh, that Benjamin Russell team coming uh, to Clay Central Stadium. And going to be a big night. Going to be a, a real fun night. Hope the weather gets a little bit cooler. But uh, it's going to be a good night there in, in Clay County. It's going to be a lot of fun Friday night. Again, Benjamin Russell coming to town, the Wildcats and the Volunteers should be a great matchup in the beginning of what we hope will be a tremendous rivalry over the years. Final score tonight, 10-7. to It's the Volunteers moving to 1-0 with a win over the Munford Lions. Again, that wraps it up for your Southern Union Community College postgame show. We'll see you next week right here on WAXC-TV.